Do what? Turn the volume on. It's Mo, Sam O, Kirill, and Alex. Good times in the morning. Yes. Oh, dalawang hey. balita. Ang scam mo na biru-biru natin, scam mo. Na-scam si Raymond Bagatsing. Mas nauna pa sa'yo. Ang, oh, oh, oh. Ang, not, I didn't get scammed though. I mean, I was, I was oh, in... Oh, pero yung trinline sa'yo, yeah. siya umabot siya sa pagtanggal ng, ng t-shirt. No. Oh, See, nasa article. Okay, now I'm insulted. Oh, because my I gosh. offered daring cl- pictures. I, sin- I uh-uh. offered it to them. And they didn't want it. Ibuisit na ako, One oh. of my biggest frustrations in show business is wala akong offer ng gay benefactor kahit isa. Okay? Uh-huh. Not <laughs> once. Okay. Mo, what I, you call? What I, you call? I, Mo, I, what do you call a relationship now? Do I'm I telling need you. To, do I've I need to talking. to tell the reason why? Why I have you, been saying this? If you've been listening to the show for years, you know that this is my number one. Alex, you were just saying the yung malaking insulto is if you got fired from a job that you're not getting uh, paid. For, uh, <laughs> this job. I am insulted that in my time, I have not had one gay benefactor offer. Okay. Now, history repeats itself. I offered <laughs> nudes to the scammer. And he literally said no. So, nag-tag team yung scammer kay... Ito, nakalag, nasa fashion police naman ito nakalagay. Okay, okay. Um, uh, nag, sabi ni... Saka kay Raymond Bagasing ga, galing. Nag-tag team si Direk Jun Lana na nire-respeto niya raw. Nag-message. Si Direk Loren at Direk Jun Lana nag-message. Tag team sila. Tapos si Direk Jun ang nag-take over. Tapos pinahubad yung share. Nung inubad yung share niya para raw sa... Ano, parang test ano lang. Nag, yeah. Nung natumigil sa nag-request na sila bing, can you touch yourself? Doon raw siya nagsabi na... I, I cannot do that. Maybe this and that. The... Hanggang to that moment, hindi niya alam na something is coming. Yung sinabi ng, direct, kasi ang task na paggalang niya, direct June, I'm not into this. Siguro hindi yan ang aking role. Pero umabot sa point na yun, na, na pinapatay siya sa sarili niya. Mo, umabot ba sa'yo? O umabot ka ba sa offer na yun? God. Okay, I, I, need to, I, I know this is two days in a row. I just need to, I just want to remind everyone my, what my last message was. Okay? Because uh, I am uh, insulted. I put, I am free to do daring scenes. I'm okay with full frontal butt exposure, all scenes necessary. I have been working out. This is the hunkiest I've ever been. Saya kung hindi ako makakagawa ng pelikula na to. Sabi ko, I'm very open open to orgy scenes with men. In fact, mas prefer ko kahit walang Ivana Alawi at Lovey. Kung gusto mo, punta ko sa CR ngayon. At magpapapicture ko ng sarili ko hubad. And they said no. <laughs> Sobrang gusto ng cover na. Bo, ah, no. Momo, polo polo lang mo, polo lang. Polo long sleeve. <laughs> ano hoodie, hoodie, hoodie. Oh. <laughs> We're requesting frontal jet lang na naka hoodie ka. <laughs> naka pisa. I'm staring at it right now. It says no. Wow. wow. <laughs> Nadala mo na ba ng onsen? Para ba ng onsen is covered. Well, it's like okay, let's take this into money. Um, <clears throat> hi, I am Nigerian Prince. I need your bank account. Ito yung bank account ko. Ito yung credit card ko, number ko. Hindi, hindi, hindi na kailangan. Hindi na kailangan. Sobrang dami. Ito. It's like, you're not even taking my money. No, yeah, you, yeah, should, you should, be should be insulted. Tapos, nakausap ko si Direk Loren. So, oh. Direk, uh, may nakukwento lang na scam. Sabi niya, ah, siguradong hindi ako yan. So, akala ko, hindi, um, Direk, ano lang, parang na piru lang. Akala ko walang scam eh. Bilang, so, sige, thank you, Alex. Ganun. Tapos mga 7 hours later, pinos ko yung, nag, nag-message ako direct Lauren, FYI, pinos ko is scam. <laughs> na talagang mas, matalamak pala yun. Ah, okay. okay. So, mo, yeah. hindi na ikaw mo. So, yeah. Oh, no, I, I, I know it was a scam. It was obviously a scam. My problem is, they didn't even jump like on the opportunity. Okay. <sighs> okay. Kung ako yan, <laughs> alamaba, hi Alex, this is direct Lauren. Sunod na message ko, nakahubad na agad ako. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to the chase. <laughs> Alex Buka is my name. <laughs> Cut to the chase. <laughs> Do what? Turn the volume on. It's Mo, Sam O, Kirill, and Alex. Good times in the morning. You know, I, let me let me take some of this attention off me. I'm sorry. I've been kind of focusing on my frustration and all these, like, you know, just scamming gone wrong and, and whatever. And uh, can we... Uh, Recognize that Sam is in studio today sick. 
And uh, we thank you, Sam, for coming to work here. As sick as you are, we appreciate you so much. You've been sick mm -hmm. since yesterday, actually. We were on the phone yesterday, actually. You know, Sam and I, we have, we have for a, a little, little bit, little intimate talk uh, at the nighttime. <laughs> and um, I, I just want to say thanks for being here. I should be a little bit more grateful and professional. And you could calm. show that by well, bleeping, you know, I did. certain I, I bleeped, words properly. I bleep. I bleep. Why is it? Like, she's the one who said it. Like, what? I don't understand. She <laughs> came out Mo, with the song. Mo, Sandra, is sipon lang yun, Mo? I, oh, Mo, I got over reducing, Mo, despite my old age, Mo. This is... <laughs> You're right, <laughs> Lex. Tomorrow, Mo, I mean, you sipon. are... Ako tomorrow, tatanda pa. You are ancient. <laughs> and, uh, yes, you are joining us. Sobrang ancient. Sobrang ancient. Tanong sa Olympic, sobrang ancient. Sorry, sorry, I heard that. Emotional damage. <laughs> and yes, you are oh, risking geez. dislocating your hip, zooming ah. with us in the morning. Ah, natulog ako ng natulog ako ng almost twelve kagabi, but the focus is there. Na I need to wake up. I woke up five fifteen. I'm ready. My coffee. Is that like the old people thing where they can't sleep and they wake up super early, like before no. the chickens do? Say, yeah, I, have to, I have to be here at 6 a.m. I was. I appreciate it. Yeah. Ready to dive on it. Because like, okay. so, lang, I will watch Maharaja. Lang, ano? Okay, I, oh, I, I you will, will watch. I will Maharaja uh, today, or if not tomorrow, definitely this week. What movie am I supposed to watch for next week for you to come in every day at 6 a.m.? No, I'm going to go here. I need to. This is this na, ito na yung, ano ko, eh. ito na yung habit. Ko. Ang, in fact, ang gusto nice. kong next na, na level, I'm going to go studio. No, no rush. Studio. Yeah. Wednesday also studio. <laughs> okay. No, yeah. no, no rush, Lex. No rush, Lex. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, Sam, I, I've got a question for you because <laughs> you. I'm going to be a little bit of a little Sam, because you have the best boyfriend in the world, um, oh, I wonder if moments like this when you're sick is something you actually embrace. Because you get to, you know, you rarely get sick. And your, boy, your boyfriend is very sweet. He's very involved. He's very sweet to us because we're important to you. Oh, yeah. Parang like, that's right. amazing. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay. And now that you're sick, is this kind of like a, a good thing? Like, you ever think about it and you're like, wait a minute. I'm sick. I'm rarely sick. I get to, I get to. I get to benefit all from all of this extra attention as he love bombs me. I mean, oh my gosh, it's so weird that I don't know how to answer this question. No, I suppose because he's so like, like amazing is his natural state. So whether I'm sick or not, it's like- I know, but it's extra. I suppose a little bit. And then do I take advantage of that? Yes. Like I really lay it on thick. Like I'm oh, sick. Oh, like, ganon, you know. ganon, may ganon ba, may ganon Sam? Konte. Oh, yeah, that's our, that's our girl. Yeah. Okay, okay. I was wondering, I was worried that you were going to say no. Oh my god. Okay. Parang pag alimbawa na tapos tong ano natin, tapos nakita kayo, sa sabi mo, um, tapos dos ko talaga bibigay na parang so I'm just talagang I'm just pretending that I'm strong, but I'm really deep inside. I'm really really sick right now. Did you did you take your thermometer and check and it you nakin so nak so lad thirty-eight babe? Malapit na mag forty. Malapit na mag forty. Like none of that. These are really great ideas, by the way. So yeah, I think okay. Okay. Babe, uh -huh. I'm so hot. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hot. Hold on, here's a here's a real question though. Like people people are worried about love bombing as a negative thing. Yes. And <laughs> In fact, when I said it, I kind of almost even saw your head kind of like make a little jerk there because we associate love bombing with almost entirely negative. It used to be a good thing. And then all of a sudden it had like a bad rep and now it's like a super bad thing. Do you think your boyfriend is a bit of a love bomber? No, because I associate the term love bombing with like, you parang. It's not appropriate. Like very early in the relationship, you don't know each other at all, really. But then, you know, talking about marriage, babies, just you maganon. Is that what it is? Am I mistaken then with my definition? I thought it was like overdoing the love, like really just smothering it on, like kind of thick. 
And people think that as a red flag because um, well, I mean, what's the point again of love bombing? Like to trying to suck you in and, and and make you kind of feel a little bit manipulated or whatever. And some some of the stuff that you look at, Lex. I love uh, Lex. You, you, this is where we're gonna get into the old school. Or like, what's the hell's the problem with that? And 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 you know what? I think I might be with you. But um, the, the he, he does he does things that most boyfriends don't, and. Even the whole like helping us out to in the middle of the night, and I really can't get over the I've got a driver in Paris. Again, he doesn't people. have a driver; he knows. A okay, driver. but the fact chauffeur. that different. Chauffeur. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a chauffeur. The chauffeur. I, I don't have a chauffeur in France. I know, but I, still, okay, he used the word chauffeur. Hello. Um, Hello. it's a lot. It's a lot of good stuff. Hmm. Ako, ano, yung timing and consistency. Kasi mahirap yung... Ang problema ng love bombing, yung love bombing is after. Yung, alimbawa, pagkatapos yun, bilang aasa siya sa sulod, di mo na ma-maintain. Ah. Because, ano ka lang naman, nag, okay sana kung natural na yun. Kasi, depende sa par- mag-partner eh. Ano ba yung partner na yun, konti na yung effort, pero para sa tingin niya, uy, nag-love bombing yan. Pero ang hirap ng consistency kasi mag-backfire yun. Kasi pag sinabi niya, the last time I was sick, you were... Like this, but now you're not like that. Parang ma- na-associate sa feelings. Diba? Kaya dapat kung maglalabam ka, kailangan continuous, consistent. Mapapanindigan mo talaga. The expectation is there na. Oo, oo. Kaya dapat, may, may ano yan, may mag-backfire lang sa'yo. Pagka yung labaming mo, naku, patay ka dyan. Sinasabi ko sa'yo. Dapat, <laughs> I, yeah, dapat I don't know. I don't understand what you just said, Lex. Like, what Hindi, ang ibig sa'yo, pag naglabaming ka, kailangan... Dapat ganun ka talaga sa mga susunod pang mga araw pag kinailangan yon Kasi pag namihasa yung kapartner mo doon sa ten- intensity na yon at nag bombing ka na mas mababa, hindi niya ma- magiging negative yun na the last time you were much sweeter. Mag-ingat oh, na- ka kasi you're gonna set the expectation. Oo, oh, 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 yun ang mahirap doon. You know, you know what's funny is because maybe in another time, this was just part of the ligaw uh process Pede. right re- re- I, I remember i think it was was it chris rock uh, stand up where he said you don't date the person you date their representation the very best yeah. version the of sales. them the yeah sales. the sales talk the marketing and all of that and all the sweetness and all yeah. the compliments and all of the opening the door for you and yeah. sending you flowers, Sam, every single month. What yeah. Alex what you're saying, Lex, is you have to be able to do that consistently over an extended period of time Correct. for it to not be love bombing and just your boyfriend is the sweetest man alive. Mm. Correct. Correct. Kasi sasabihin ng babae minsan, babae o lalaki ah, kaya mo pala maging ganyan, bakit kailangan ko pa magkasakit? Si pare, napaka walang, kasi sasabihin mo nga, nagiging negative ang love bombing minsan, kasi nga, may extra effort ka para sa isang emergency, mga ganun ang problema niya yun. Kaya kung alimbawa, okay naman yung pinapakita mo, di man, gumanyang ka lang para hindi ka mahirapan. Nagets mo? But what if you're head over heels? And that's, hindi ka dapat maghihintay ng mga okasyon na sakit or what? To... No, no, no. Take, re- remove, remove the sakit. The, the sakit oh. is only because Sam is sick today. If she weren't sick, I mean, we can argue whether or not the amount of love that he really showcases on her could be I don't, I'm not saying your boyfriend's a love bomber but I mean there, there's there's some moments where I'm like wow wow he is really he's really making us look like assholes here pag binigyan ko yung wife ko ng flower ngayon mm. at walang reason Location. sasabihin niya why the flowers like what did you do ano ginawa mo do? ano oh. ginawa mo when was the last time you gave her flowers, Lex? Sam, mag- mag-focus tayo sa topic. Masyadong marami kang... Minsan-minsan, wala ka rin sa timing na babae ka eh. Minsan, kung kailan tayo mag-focus. Alam mo namang nasa... Alam mo namang nasa coaching ngayon eh. Ikaw rin naman talaga. Kasi Sam talaga, kapahamak tayo. Ito yung That's kainuman like mo na... Oh my gosh, Ito yung kainuman mo na naglalagay na pulutan yung asa mo sa mesa. Yung naglalagay na pulutan yung asa mo sa mesa, binagtanong, ba kayo ng ex mo? It's a natural progression of a question, I felt like. 
Ano yan? Uh, ng flowers lang. Mother's Day. Oh, there. Well, That's nga. good. Eh, parang oh. nahirapan ako mag-isip. <laughs> Kasi automatic yun. <laughs> <laughs> Ayun yung sabi ko sa'yo. Automatic na nakaset na dun sa, sa flower shop na magbabayad na po ako lang sa puntaon. Kaya na mag-alam ng mga Mother's Day kasi nagpapago-bago yung hype na yan eh. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> isang date Mother's Day. Three weeks siya sa May. Third week ng May. Magbayad ka sa taon sa flower shop. Ah, huwag kayong magsasara. <laughs> Pag nagkakaproblema kayo sa tindahan na to, ako susuporta ba sa mag-flowers na kayo sa taon ha? I, I, I understand why it... Listen, I've only come across love bombing in the past few years in the sense that it's a negative thing. I just want to know what if it's just a lot of, to, it's a lot to give. Like, what if you just are that type? You are so, so in love. Ga, ga, from the get-go, dapat ganun ka. Napag kinukwento mo sa friends mo na, ito ginagawa niya, mapapaganin mo friends mo. My God, sobrang sweet. Okay. Can I, can I date your boyfriend, Sam? Because if this were... <laughs> If he were, if he loved me right now, he would do something. I'll think about it. I need it. to be loved bombed. Right his name? I don't even know his name. What's his name? Come on, it's time. It's time to tell me his name. Let's go to break. Do what? Turn the volume on. It's Mo, Sam O, Kirill, and Alec. Good times in the morning. That's what makes you beautiful. Ooh, it's One Direction. We don't really play them that much, but I uh, kind of liked Hearing yeah, that. one direction. Something kind of like uh, happy, yeah. happy. Yeah, I know. Still dancing now. <laughs> <laughs> Just the memories. <laughs> Just the memory of that song. Oh, let's say hi to Kirill here. Good morning. <laughs> so I have this idea since we all come in at different times throughout the day and Honestly, Sam and I, um, I mean, it's not that we, we don't have a problem with it because obviously, like she said it earlier, it's not like you guys are getting paid for this stuff, right? So, but but we're trying to find ways to not, f- to feel good about it. So I thought, what if we had like a WWE intro? Like our, our kind of, our windows are always there. Like the four windows are always there. And if you're not here yet, it's just... Maybe your own personal logo. Like Alex has his own personal logo. Sam, it could be, you know, whatever, something else. For Kay, it could be her Kay's drama or whatever. And when they're ready to come in, like a Chris Jericho type, if you guys remember Chris Jericho from your, you know, what, the, maybe 2010s, there was like a... Dun, 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 <laughs> and then kind of like a WWE type of entrance. Uh, yeah, the Y2J entrance as a kind of a thing since we don't really know when people are going to jump in okay right look look it's 49 and um kay's not here because she watched uh nasty was it our boxy our box our boxy see nasty our boxer <laughs> and um i just thought maybe that would be fun if sure. we could say something i don't know Anyway, Kate's going to be here in a second. 863-1899 is our phone number. If you want to call us, get yourself on the show. Uh, it's over 500 people on playback. Uh, good times. I think it would be good to say hi and hello to the people all around the world. Um, wherever you are, it is our little morning roll call, roll call, which we like to do to kill maybe three or four minutes of some time. And we read off uh, names and places. Names are kind of hard because they're all kind of, you know, just online names, but let's go. Uh, Alvin is in Christchurch, New Zealand. Good morning. Thanks for being here, brother. Jules is in Dallas, Texas. Vernadette is in New Jersey, USA. Migs is in Mahati. Mikey is in Barcelona, Spain. Mo is in Santa Rosa, Laguna. Ilocosur for Echo. Hi to Wang, who is in Bahrain. Aika is in Scottsdale, Arizona, USA. Quezon City for uh, Bumble Bing. Joyce is in Las Vegas, USA. Why Dave B is music? in uh, Toronto, Canada. I'm sorry. You're right. I forgot. Here we go. Ako din, may tech problem. There we go. Sorry. That's uh, my bad, chef. Um, Misty, Sydney, Australia. Chevy is in Pateros, Bumble Bing. I said, I said QC. Sorry about that. So Suki, Toronto, Canada. Oh. for Punch Baby. Edmonton, Canada. For Kicks High Port Area, Manila. Ooh, yeah. For 
Panengra. Panengarza. Victoria. Why? YJ, we don't get that a lot, but the, the Milag is over there in Victoria, Canada. Um, Vancouver, very close there. Ismail, thank you. Cebu for K Prime O. Uh, Charlie's is in Makati, Brisbane, Australia for Ahmed. Os- Osaka, Japan for Eunice. QC for Sensei, Hayward, California for Mavic. Hi to Dino Mama. Okay. Oh, K Man. Huh? Is there, isn't there like a K Man? Isn't that like a, like a, Alligator or something like that. Meron, meron. Is that what the Cayman is? Yeah, meron, meron, meron. meron. Yeah. Sure Shanda's in Rotterdam, Netherlands. Thank you also for being here. Yanni, Austria. Hello, lovely. Um, yeah. Okay, where were we? Ako ano ah, um, second week pala yung Mother's Day. I apologize. Second week yung ano? Mother's Day pala. Every second week of the May. Ah, of May. Kala ko to. Ah, oh, okay. Right. Asensya na po. Okay. <laughs> Sana hindi apekto dun sa, sa calendar ng Pilipinas yung nasabi ko. Sabine is in uh, Adelaide, South Australia. Cayman is uh, south of Cuba. Thank you. Rosie, Los Angeles. Thank you. Um, Southfield, London for Lucille. I'm done. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, sorry. Nice. It's just, there's some things that are nice to, names to say. Um, so, not that I want to repeat this, but I think I've come up during the commercial break with a bit of a thought here, Sam, about mm-hmm. this. I'm not going to go with love bombing again, but I'm just going to say this and you tell me if this is either sexist or it makes sense. Men should have green flags. Women just don't have red flags. Wait, what? what is, that, are you is, saying, that, is that offensive? No, 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 no. I'm trying to understand what you're saying. Um, men should have green flags. Men should have green flags. So, meaning women like are going to. I should be able. I should be able to identify really good things about a guy. Girls, right. you just have to identify you're not crazy. Do you think that's true? I because I feel like. So, pardon, okay. The girls need to need to see green flags in the guy to go for him. The guys yeah. are cool as long as there are no red flags in the girl. Just don't be nuts. Lex, do you agree with that? And, and honestly, I, the way I see it, and it might be offensive, but you guys are a better species. Hence, I just don't want a bad version of you. Guys are, are worse species, so you better goddamn impress Mababaw lang tayo. Yun nga eh. So, oh, ang wait, girls you know, kasi ang medyo demanding. With a statement like that, I kind of feel like, is that insulting to the guys? Yes. Parang, uh-oh. And we have no problem with that, doing that. It's the truth though. I'm not here to defend our species. I'm here to tell you the truth. Kaya yeah, nasusurprise kami pag anong bawang napupunta sa yung girls sa isang mga lalaking. Ang taas ng standard mo tapos yung, di ba? Tapos papatol ka sa bad guy. Tapos magtataka ka, where are the good guys? That's a really good point, Lex. We're here, but hindi kayo pumasa sa criteria nyo. So, That's a really good point. Yeah? Pag nasaktan sila sa bad guy, damay tayo lahat. And yeah. that's why we can come up with a blanket statement, or at least I come up with a blanket statement that I believe in, that men should have green flags, like identifiable green flags. Women, just don't kill us. Ma- mahaba pasensya natin sa babae. Misa nga, sinasakta na tayo basta may nakita lang tayong mahal na isang bagay na na-overpower nun eh. Di ba? Ika kasi nag-uusap-usap tayo ng ganyan mo. May nga tayong problema sa technical dito. Nag... Sana tinaming mo man lang kung maayos na walang echo. Kasi mag-uusap yeah, na naman tayo is... tapos mawawala na naman tayo sa air eh. Kawawa naman tayo. Kawawala yung rhythm na usapan natin. The what echo is, is throwing me off. Okay, is it really that? Ah, Jesus. Why don't you take some calls? I I'm know. not talking. You're not telling me. To. I, I wait for you for that. Oh, yeah. Uh, 8631 yeah. or 899's our phone number. If you want to call us, get yourself on the show. Oh. Um, I, again, this, Mm-hmm. Grabe ba yung echo sa radio? 
I, you know what would make me feel better if these mother efforts in the background, I see them running around trying to do something. Like, I feel like I don't even see anybody doing anything. About no, they it. are. They are. Okay. Yeah, they are. Why don't you guys have a conversation? I will press buttons for you. Colors. Colors. Tayo. Tignan namin, color ba? No, oh, it can't. We can't, we can't do color. We can't because ah, it, it comes from sorry. the freaking story. <sighs> It'll echo as well. Uh, where's K? Anybody? Where's K? K won't echo either. Hey, <laughs> mag-ano mag ba siya sa Zoom? Yeah. yeah ah, mag-Zoom si K. She's about to jump in. Gusto ko ulit ako yung pinag-uusapan mo. Gusto ko makaisip ng isang concrete example. Ikaw ba mo may example ka na sa buwan? Kasi maganda siyang topic eh. For example, yung babae, um, green plug ang hahanapin, tapos lalaki, wag lang mag-red plug. Tama, no? Okay, okay. about this? What most often when a when a guy is going to say they have a bad girlfriend, what do they usually say? What do they usually say? Uh, like, 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 oh, uh, yeah, I have, I, have a, I have a bad girlfriend. What do they say? Crazy, crazy, mm-hmm. toxic, crazy, crazy, uh, crazy. Is the c word crazy? The other c word, I mean, <laughs> crazy, right? It's uh, it's that is your kind of number one answer and that's why I, I can say something like well just don't have a red flag but if a guy isn't a good boyfriend there's a lot more you can kind of choose from on why they're not good and that's why i'm coming up with like maybe it's the they sh- they have to have clear green flags for them to be worth your time and then green flag an example Oh gosh, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I, I just stable job, is stable job, it's a green flag. It, it could be, yeah, it could be, it could be. I, I absolutely, it could be. Oh, but I don't think that's the best green flag. I, I don't think it's that green of a flag either. Major may slight. It's like calamansi when you open when you open it, and there's a hint of green, but it's very yellow. <laughs> you know. Um, no. I want a responsible man. May trabaho. Pabait sa pamilya. May, ano, religious. Sino boyfriend mo ganun? Si Totoy Mola. <laughs> Ba't ba siya nagustuhan? Ewa ko ba? <laughs> But see, that's why, like, when we say what are green flags, we're getting so many different um, answers. Be- and I think it just strengthens my point. We're just looking for don't be crazy. Sa babae, no? Diba? Yeah, just don't be crazy. That's all. Kalma ka lang. Ito, daming. There's so many that we're getting. Girl, as... kalma ka lang. Okay tayo. Kalma ka lang. Oh. Huwag mo lang ako saksain sa tagiliran. Okay tayo. <laughs> Sam, are you okay? Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I just don't sound okay on the air. Like, this echo. Wow. Talaga? Mm. Wag ka, natatandaan nyo yung dati na in-echo ako. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of women and their red flags, K is here. Hey, K, what's going on? With the turtleneck. Where is she? There she is. Hindi pinakita. Hindi pinakita ang leg, pero pinakita ang kilikili. Yan tayo. The choices, di ba? I don't want to show my my. my hey, this is back, This is back-to-back days that you uh, you look inspired. Blooming. Oh, oh. Thank you. You look good. Hello, Matt. That's, that sound. Who did, you, who did you give the stink eye to right there? Do you know? There was a sound. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, no. Oh, ah. Jun Jun. Jun Jun. Open sa multo yun. Sung Junki. Yung multo sa inyo, Jun Jun. Ah, oh, Jun Jun. My mom played the multo once. Ang babae sa malete drive. I was just talking about you, Kay, that last night, I would say around, I'd say around 10.30 p.m. Uh, Manila time, you texted everybody saying that you were going to be in studio. And I was like, oh, amazing. And then 11.30, you, I think, sent another message. And then on Instagram, I saw mga 12.30, you posted something. And I'm like, oh, okay. One thirty. Boss, man. Thing. Yeah. And then mga 2.30 a.m. was the last time you posted something. And I'm like, nope, she's not making it. <laughs> when I saw Oh, oh, I that your minutes. I was like five minutes ago. Then I checked my watch. I'm like, oh, two thirty. Five thirty. Two 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 thirty. Two
Well, had to watch Neshti Patesho sa Olympics. Oh, magaling sa first round. Kaya lang, medyo nag-ano hata, no? Sa second round, saka sa third round, tayo natalo eh. Eh, was it she won a oh, gold, a uh, bronze medal. Oh, yun. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations, Nish. Yeah. Ito matulog. This is, a good, this is a good voice, though, for you. I like it. Oh. Where's my straw? Sorry. No, no, no. Don't apologize. It's fine. I'm I mean, awake. You did it for your country, so it's okay. I mean, it's amazing. natin lahat na naka-tune in sa atin. Naka-tune in? Good morning sa mga tuners. Um, unfortunately, we're having technical issues here. Uh, okay, yeah, even our stream is really blurry for me. Like, I barely am actually seeing you guys. It's terrible. Um, but there is a considerable technical problem in the studio uh, for Sam. So she's going to sit there, be sick, but be quiet. And then it's just going to be us. However, I, we'll work it out. Let's do this. Sam, let's take a break because we're four minutes past the top of the hour. Mm-hmm. And let's do some... Let's do some uh, chit-chatting off air here about what we're going to do about t- uh, t- today. You're listening to Good Times here at Magic 89.9. Don't go away. Back after this. Do what? Turn the volume on. It's Mo, Sam O, Kirill, and Alex. Good Times in the Morning. You know, I think um, <clears throat> even the even the commercials have uh, echoes, right, during the <laughs> break here. So. Oh, uh, they get uh, they got the double exposure. Um, Sam, you 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 sent a message. Uh, don't apologize. It's fine. It's not it's not you. Um, it's just I still feel bad. Sorry. Yeah, I, trust, I feel bad, man. Trust me, I feel so bad. Um, I hate having to rep- like repeat myself uh, over and over that you know in the past you know this, Sam. We we talk about it all the time on the radio. Even one bad radio day, even ten years ago, drove me crazy. But man, to do four four shows in one week where there's technical problems, I'm honestly I'm like losing my mind here because we just want so badly to do a good job at this. Um, yeah, it's just it's just frustrating. So I apologize, everybody. Um, thanks to Kay though for waking up, even though he didn't sleep, and Alex for being here early every day this week. What a waste it has been uh, to see you so on time. Wow. But- Oh. Any problems? Um, so I apologize to both of you guys as well. Maybe uh, that's the problem. That we said that early. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, we did. Because I'm late. What's yeah, yeah, you're 49 minutes late. So that's why we said that in I think uh, minute number 13. <laughs> sorry, nah. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay, no, it's fine. If today's gonna be, if you're gonna be late, today's the day to do it. Um, uh, Alex, you're on mute, right? I think yes. He's a multi. Oh my God! You know he's not. Uh, that joke, joke, that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Good acting. <laughs> Your heart will go on. Your Acting, acting. My God. Lex, you do you wanna do you wanna talk about the topic you wanted to talk about yesterday? Really? I actually, what is it? I actually saw it online. I, I think it was like Rappler uh, Instagram today. They were talking about the family culture and how much it brings so much pressure. The utang oh. nello. Uh, we talked about it even a little bit yesterday. Whether it, it all kind of falls in the same umbrella of uh, this this kind of cultural part of ours, where we hinder the ability of a fresh graduate or a young adult to maximize their ability because they are so responsible for their siblings, the education of their siblings, the support to give the younger people. And, you know, through the years, I've always been supportive of this because it's who we are, but I might finally be, finally be changing my stand. It's kind of like student loans if you think about it. It was America. They're like trying to pay it off forever. Oh, that's our oh, version. Grab, grabbing stu- student loan. Yeah, and and um, but if you guys obviously, I I don't even know what that's like though. I mean, I live here in the U.S. I don't know because I've never had it done. So we can only kind of assume what that burden is like with them. Uh, and at the same time, we can pinpoint other countries that don't, you know, take advantage of college students tuition like there are plenty of countries out there where it's available at too little or no cost um i think though when your eldest or your first graduate 
has to give 50% of their uh, of their salary in their entry level job straight out of university or college it really is a lot of pressure on them and they're already filled with pressure as they get into the workforce but is it really wrong i mean i guess that's the question i want to ask you guys is it really crippling to that young person you know ako um medyo may issue lang ako doon sa pag identify as ang isang ugali as doon sa alam mo generation ay ay tong hindi ako ganoon eh so syempre mag ma, alam kong um hindi naman siya sabi lahat pero yung para identify mo ugaling ganoon sa isang edad ng generation i don't think that's fair kasi sasagot ako hindi hindi ko ni-require anak kong ganyan yung nanay ko hindi ako ni-require na ganyan so it's not hindi yan parang generation nagkataon lang that's, that's identify na baka yung pe, yung yung parents so pero kung because of that topic sabi natin karamihan o oh, sige karamihan um dapat ano eh it's a mutual agreement eh, hindi naman pwedeng stop mo yung anak mo pag nagbibigay pag gusto pero pag alam ba ayaw at ni-require mo doon tayo nagkaka-problema pag hindi hindi gusto ng isang na isang part ng isang party yung nangyayari yan ang problema. Pero yung ano ba, maglalagay ng amount o kaya kailangan may utang na loob sa akin, hindi ko ginawa yan. Hindi din ginawa sa akin ng nanay ko yan. So, um, sa tingin ko, nasa per family yan eh. Kung ano yung kinalaki yan sa pamilya. Ayun ang sa akin ah. Kasi pag nag, 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 ano ka, nagtanong ka, maingay lang yung mga naka-experience eh. Pero, I think, eh, may mga tao naman na maganda yung pamilya na anak, hindi ka. Pero, matanda na yung nanay ko, hindi naman siya nag-require nag, nag sa so, Pero kung sa pag-uusap sa topic lang, hindi maganda yon yung mag-require. Hindi naman puhunan ng mga anak eh. Mm-hmm. Diba? Ay, ayoko lang nung general, generalist na boomer, ganyan talaga ang boomer. I don't really, doon ako na-off talaga. What do you nung, mean? When they're saying what? Hindi, ugali na. Kasi ugali daw ng mga matatanda. Hindi ko naniniwala na ugali. Malamang ugali ng kinalaki ang pamilya mo yon na na ang nanay mo hiningan ka ang tendency mo maging gano'n o putulin mo pero para sabihin mong uh-huh. ay matatanda talaga yung requirement medyo nakakaano yun dyan tayo nagsisimulang magkaroon ng mga problema when you divisions the, oh lilalagyan mo ng group yung okay, well, what's, what's your biggest problem for it though sorry I, I may have been a little oh. lost it's giving the burden of giving the burden of uh, putting the burden on the child or not child their child but who's an adult to give back to their family, to support the family, and especially their siblings in their attempt to graduate. To oh, graduate. Sorry. Ang galing muna natin yung financial problem kasi kaya naman nag- nangyayari yan because of the poverty here in the Philippines. Eh, na yung nanay, inaasahan yung pinakamatanda ang tutulong. Uh, which is... Pero pag alimbawa sa middle income pataas, may ganun kayong culture, medyo hindi, hindi yun dapat ganun. Dapat pag uh, nagtrabaho um wag mong hingan wag mong hingan muna ng parang percentage di ba eh kaya lang kasi dito sa sa Pilipinas meron ding yung 18 years old nakatira pa rin tayo sa bahay ano yan eh patong-patong yan eh di ba hindi katulad sa Amerika 18 alis ka you go, you are an adult dito kaya ganoon nakatira ka sa bahay magbibigay ka talaga ng contribution mm-hmm. bilang nakatira ka sa bahay yun ang ibig ko sabihin eh talagang dapat magbigay ka kasi As an adult, nagtatrabaho ka. Magsishare ka na ngayon sa, sa upa ng bahay. Nasa ano yan eh? Nasa economic status yan eh. I don't, I, I don't know. Am I old school? Or am I... I, I don't want to say I like this part of our culture, but I don't see... Maybe because I never really lived it. And I can only do it by theory. So maybe I, I speak from a place of privilege, as young people would say. But... You are raised by a community or you are raised by a family. And guess what? If you struggle at any point in your adult life and you need to come home, this is what separates us from other countries. Correct. You are home. Okay? Correct. Oh. So why is it that you have the green light to come home when you fail, but yet when you're succeeding, you're not going to contribute to the environment that also helped you? Richie achieve this success. We it's blanket it's a it's a it's a it's kind of like a buffer for both sides. You graduated, you have a job, 
the expectation is to give back. That's who we are as Filipinos. That's how yeah. other Asians are. But like you want to talk about the Americans, for example, and you're 18 and you're out. If you screw up, you're still out. With us, you always come home. So why why do you always have that? Why why is your our home always going to be your home forever? But yet, if all of a sudden I ask you to give back to your family, it's toxic. Yeah. So no, I'm okay with. Again, I'm probably going to get some hate here. But I, I don't know. I feel like it's okay. It's it's give and take. Nagulat ako, nagulat ako sa iyo dun mo. Rise together, ah, fall oh, together. Oh. Dun ako gulat sa opinion mo na yan. Okay, para kasi uh, parang numay ka sa Amerika. Let's face it. No, 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 no. I did not. I did not. Pero hindi siya nasa Amerika ka ngayon. Di ba? Hindi ka pa rin nagbabago yeah, ng... Yeah, I can't make you here 35 though. Oh. So... so yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I just feel like it's a group. But remember, I mean, the way I, I, it's so tough for me to say, though, because I didn't grow up poor. But my siblings, the core group, everything to me. So I can't even think of a scenario where I wouldn't help my siblings if I needed to, even if I had less I cannot see that. I cannot see that. I can't even fathom that. Ito, konting it. diversion sa ano. Alam ba ako, may, sampu, may, may ano ka, may lima kang anak. May ang tendency dito is patilig, patigilin yung panganay para oh. makapagtapos yung ano. Sa tingin ko mali yun eh. Patapusin mo yung panganay. Kasi siya yung pinakamalapit matapos eh. Yung nagigiveaway na panganay, magtrabaho ka na muna anak. Hindi ko na dapat ang gawin mo, patapusin mo yung pinakamalapit matapos para makatulong. If we're talking about helping, no? Yeah, yeah, this uh, is what, ten, this oh, is diba? what it is right now. No? Ang ten, sila yung bunso na paunahin mo. Ang tagal pa nung baka makagraduate. Pag-graduate mo yung matanda. Para tapos siya, tapos, saka siya makakatulong. Yeah, Hindi but yung... this is like a ladder effect, right? I mean, diba? the first one helps the second one, the second one helps the oh, third one, the third one, the fourth one. Isn't that what it is though? Dap- oh, pero iba kasi, iba, iba, or, iba, or, uh, or let's say one of them strikes it big and, and oh. has an amazing healthy salary, they are able to contribute a little bit more to the group. More mm. chances, more kids. Tulad ko, bunso ako. They just ako. don't have too many kids at all. Oh, bunso ako. May, diba, bunso ako, mami ko is 93 years old and pinamatanda ako kapatid oh. is 75. Pero medyo ako sinerte and out of ano, kusa, ako talaga nag nagtumutulong sa mga kapatid ko. Oh, that's what you're saying. In, it's a oh, mutual understanding. Oh, pero hindi yun yung hindi yun yung parang hey, yeah, but, but like 50, 52, 75 I mean even I have a limit. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, we're talking about just getting by at a young age. Hmm. Getting by, getting through, giving yourself a chance. I I would rather the I don't know I'd, I don't know maybe I'm a, again if I'm toxic to, to feel to, to feel this way then then so be it. it oh, it's... gusto ko talaga ang word talaga lagi diyan is ano. Dapat bukal sa loob mo para wala kang issue. Hindi po na pwersa, hindi yung yung may ano, may 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 up, may pera, may schedule. Yan medyo diyan nagkakaproblema lang na pagkaano. Um we, we have calls. Um I I I am pretty certain that our callers will have an echo. Uh, but Shall we attempt one? Let's attempt it anyway because there's a lot of people trying to get on here. 861 is our number. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Hi, who's this? Hey. This is Trish. Hi. What is it? Yeah, I think Chess? Um, the issue is that the burden of responsibility of actually, you know, parang giving a good, uh, what do you call this? Parang yung livelihood kasi napapasa sa panganay, something like that, instead of just the panganay helping, ang nangyayari is sa kanya napupunta yung responsibility as a parent. Parang ganun eh. Yun yung, ano, yung impression sa akin. Um, I did not experience this because luckily my parents are also um, good providers. But I have friends who have been like the parents of their siblings. And it's parang nagkaroon sila ng resentment because of it. Tuma yung magulang financially. Yeah. Parang ganun. Yeah. yeah. Parang sa kanila, it's okay to get because they love their siblings eh. Correct. But yung pressure to actually 
um, parang buhayin yung siblings nila and then they see that their parents are parang pinasa na sa kanila yung responsibility. Nandun yung resentment for them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, I, 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 that, that's a good point. I think just as long as people are trying. If everybody's trying and whoever it may be is succeeding, whether it be parent or panganay, if they're going to shoulder a little bit more of the burden, I'm okay with that. I think a lot of people in the chat, th thanks for the call, by the way, appreciate you. Um, I think everybody in the chat seems to be like, oh, it's when they require, it's when they require, it's when they require. It's like, it, it, you guys are, I think, focusing so much on the semantics of requiring versus willingly. Like, of course, it, if, if somebody's willingly to help, they're, they're willing to help their siblings, then fantastic. But the the part where you require somebody to do it, that's, I'll brainwash that into you at a young age. <laughs> you're going to feel like you're required to do it. Even Pero if it's an anong limit natin mo in terms of one, of course, obviously, pa naatira ka dun sa bahay ng pamilya mo. Yun, to contribute, din kasi yun. Contribute yun. Ngayon, second, what if binata ka munang nasa labas ka na, ano, bumukod ka, uh -uh. anong nagiging changes sa tingin mo? Or, Lagyan natin ng konting level. May asawa at anak na rin yung, yung ano mo, anak mo. Anong nangyayari doon sa in terms of expectation? Kasi ang pag nakita na ka sa bahay, talaga expected ka dapat. Kapal na mukha mo kung wala ka malang binibigay kahit paano. Border ka yung ba? binatang Ay. nasa labas ng bahay na mag, may trabaho naman, anong expectation? Is that the still the same? Or tapos yung second is paano pag may family? What will, what's the ano, adjustment? Ayun yung mga question eh. I, I don't know. I, I Let me try to come up with an answer and I don't know if it will even make sense. But Yeah, because people yeah. don't move out when they're still single, basically. I, I also don't think it's a product. You know me, I'm so quick to blame the system, mm -hmm. I'm, including the government. Like, you know me, I, 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 come on, you guys have been here with me forever now. Mm -hmm. 30 years I've, I've been doing, I've been saying the same message. I've been so consistent. The, the OFW problem, and that is a problem, goes back to a broken government system. And I think this part is also a broken government system. We can blame it on them. Because your parents don't have the retirement plan and maybe the pension, the average, okay? Healthcare. They don't have the health care. They don't have a, a social service system that the government is going to take care of them when they retire. They don't have that. A lot of them don't have that. So it is reliance on your children to give back because they're in a system that is not, doesn't make it livable for them. And that is family. Mm. That's what that is. Basic unit. We did it together. We go down together. We started together. We end together. Together. That's what makes us different. Yeah. And it might hinder, it might not allow you to maximize your independence and your individuality and your personal success. But this is who we are, man. And are you going to leave your parents? What is the one thing we, what is the one thing as Filipinos we make, we, we make yabang to the rest of the world? Our parents do not live in care homes. But then, right? Yabang natin. And we do that. No, wait. We take care of them. And then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. when that conversation starts to happen, oh, well, that's toxic. You shouldn't be taking care of your parents. We, I, we make yabang about it. Yeah. And then when the topic comes around that, oh, why do we have to, why are they a financial burden for us? All of a sudden, it's a effing bad thing. No, it's not about, uh, 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 Ahmed says Brisbane, Australia. We can't afford care homes, Mo. No, we refuse to do it, even mm. if we can afford it. And that's a good thing. I'm not going to die at the hands of a bunch of nurses that don't care about me in a home that's foreign to me. I am not. I will next to my family. Right. And that's I mean, all I got. He, here, I said that would be called abandoning your parents. Yes. Shame. It's not like, oh, they moved to a home. It's like, no, they were abandoned by That's their that. kids. Yeah. And you mm. know what? You did. Uh, 
But sa ako 93 years old, mami ko, and uh, I'm still supporting her. Okay, yeah. so, 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 nice so it's a good thing. Yeah, and I like it. So, yeah. hindi mo dapat questionin yung... Ganun naman ako lagi eh. Um, ang problema kasi yung pag-judge ng ibang tao outside. And of course, pag na pagka... May fault ka na pag pina, ano na mo, pinablik mo, no? Pero, usually kasi mga tao na higit na... Ano? Hanggang ngayon? Kung wala ka na yung problem, what's the problem? Di ba? Wala pa, ano eh. Pero ako, I'm willing akong mag-help. Yun ang mahalaga doon. Yung tao. Okay. Now, now, obviously, if you're being exploited, like if your parents don't care about you, if they don't even deserve, there are parents, trust me, that don't deserve it. Okay? Yes, of course. Abusive, like lazy, I mean, really just alcoholic, I mean, whatever. Okay, fine. You're not, I mean, come on. You, again, you know me. How many times have you called me and said, uh, my father who abandoned me as a child is sick and I he's dying in the hospital. Should I go visit him? And what's my answer? No. Absolutely not. I don't care kung tatay mo yun. They were gone. They weren't a part of it. They abused you. No way. I, I mean, again, so it's not a, it's not a like, universal thing for me. Just because you're, they're your father, they're always going to be. No. No, you have to earn that. But if you have, it's together, man. All the time. Lines are full. 8631-0899 is our phone number. I know the radio has an echo, but the online component doesn't. So if you guys want to jump on the online, it's playback.tv. That's the app. You can search Good Times, join the room, and I don't think you'll have this problem that we're having with the technical issues, and it's unfortunate because I think everybody's kind of involved in this topic. Good morning. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Hi, who's this? Um, hi, I'm Hannah. I'm a solo parent of 20 years and by no means um, materially super wealthy. But I have a belief that to eradicate the cycle of poverty, parents should start having a mindset of being self-sufficient and actually getting ready to launch their children. Um, I mean, prepare them for a future where they have no ties they can be independent of one another. And if the child chooses to pay you back by virtue of, you know, supporting you in the future, then that's going to be a bonus. But my mindset is that um, I should invest in my child so that he can live independently. Yeah. Okay. If your child fails and needs to come home, what do you do? He can come back. He can come back. Okay. Why? Why? He's independent. He's independent, though. Something forever, you know. Oh, okay, but that's but the other way around, it isn't. No, I, I think they didn't choose to be born into the world, so it's your obligation. That's just God, my that philosophy. Answer. Yeah, and I, also, you know, um, the the reason why we don't have to have generational wealth is because we put them in the same rut as you. They can never, um, they can never be catapulted into their own person because there's always ties there's always strings attached Mm -mm. yeah so i think to set them free you need to be able to cultivate that mindset that's just me yeah yeah Yeah. that's fine and i I, I, our version of di ba sa america kung hindi umalis sa bahay yung anak mo by 18 ang tawag nila doon and i watched the movie entitled failure to launch so our version of it is this Parang you yes. need to help them. Para they also won't do the same or go through the same path that you know the ones who came before them, who kind of failed in a sense. That's yeah. what they went yeah. through. Uh, just to mention, um, I the family encountered a catastrophe last year. So I spoke to my kid and I said that, um, could we have a roadmap of like two years, like help the family out for one to two years until we get back on track. And then on your third year, do what you will with your earnings and whatnot. So I think it's um, having a conversation with your children, like like maybe you can help and stuff, but not obligating. Because that's yep. really going to wreak havoc, not just on the current generation, but on the future generation. Just consider it. That's going to solve hey, the hey, problem hey, of... Hey, hey, I love everything you're saying here. Can I just ask you one thing? When it's time to die for you, uh, what does that look like? Are you going to be okay with um, being in, say, 
you know, independently as well, where your children, they're going to be with their families. They're going to be in their own homes. You're not going to have a spot in those homes. I, I hope that I'm not trying to, uh, this doesn't I come up as an exaggeration. I have a die in but... Switzerland, like <laughs> um, die in one of those pods. And okay. then the hope is that they'll come visit me. But, and I believe in my heart, my, my child will come back to me. But to, mm. to say that you have to be there when the time comes on my bedside, but I really believe in my heart because I've only given love. Love will come back in some way, yep. shape, or form. Yep. yep. So that's no. that. Yeah. Okay. Just just wondering. Okay. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. And it says, uh, Mo, independent doesn't mean alone. Uh, what, <laughs> in, what, in what context? I forgot. I forgot what I'm saying here. Um. No, I listen. I, I, I obviously there is value in being independent, and um, right because you have to reach a certain level of it. There's an economic gain to it as well. I mean, I, I think, I think the system, like I said, is not really built for economic success, and uh, but I don't know if I don't know if that's enough for me. <laughs> like, you know. But again, I, 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 I live a different lifestyle. So. Hindi ang problema nila Henry C. nila Sobel, di ba? Wala ko parang sabi. Ma, nangangailangan kayo ng pera, sabi ni Hansi. O, sabi ni Hansi. Ganun, so. You know, it's crazy though with those rich people. And, yeah. and funny, you know how we, we, we talk about the similarities between the ultra-rich and the ultra-poor? Uh, it's the same. With the ultra-rich, hey, you. Uh, eldest, you're now running the business. Oh yeah, but by the way, you, you have a Mercedes, you got a uh, freaking this, you get this, and you get. Uh, they have no problem with that. Like, oh, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna do that. I don't, you know, it's like, oh, it's nepotism. <laughs> it's completely Asian thing. I know. May irap talaga ano? May irap talagang uh, iba ibang situation. Yeah, madalas naming ma ano yan sa may encounter yan dahil sa we're, we're, we're okay with it when you inherit an empire. Mm. But when you're mm. poor, it's not as okay. And Does I get that, it. Yeah. It's because you're crippling someone's ability to just kind of live a uh, you know, a comfortable life. And when you're an empire, my goodness, you're comfortable forever, generation after generation, but it's still, I don't know, man, it's still kind of this feels feels a little the same. 8631 for 899 to phone number if you want to call us get yourself on the show. Um Good morning. I love all the tech people. Mo's mic is the reason why there's an echo. It's <laughs> <laughs> exactly why. That is. Thanks, tech. Seven thirty-five. Na sana ito ang Friday na ibang tao. Sana okay, umo okay. I'm still hoping na umo okay. Kasi yeah. gusto ko lagi Thursday masaya. I know, I know. I'm sorry, guys. And again, I mean, outside of my mic being the problem, uh, the callers are an echo. The ads are are echoing um, as well. So. Uh, we'll try to fix that hopefully by Monday of uh, next week. Good morning. Hey guys, good morning. Hey, what's up? Hey, this is um, GM. Hey, GM, what's up? Yeah, just, would just like to contribute to the story or to the, the topic we're talking about, basically about familial ties and the pressure to, to give back. No, yeah. um, really personally involved in it because my family, both mother side and father side, are actually on the, on the same story. You know. But just would just like to highlight that I think the main issue here is it creates resentment because if it's utang na loob, if it's debt of gratitude na tipong you're doing it, there is actually an equal an equal values exchange na parang napapansin mo na oh I'm doing this out of love and whatnot for for my for my family na parang either the as I experience ko, no? it's either the children of the family would get resentment sa sinusuportahan or the family that's being supported actually nagkakaroon ng resentment na parang bakit mo sinusuportahan yung family mo dapat mauuna ka po. And that creates some familial pressure na nag-aaway-aaway yung families because of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. yeah, good call. Appreciate it. Yeah, good stuff. Thanks. Thanks, GM. Appreciate you, man. Have a good one. I think I honestly I think it just a, a part of me right now is really sold on. There's not a system to support your parents. 
Um, we what, what's great about this, say here in playback, is all of these people from so many different countries, and you can tell, you can tell the the people, you can tell with the opinions of some of our people who are in these countries that have an excellent social service system, where it's the government that takes place of those children giving back. The children don't have to give back to these to these ones here in in these countries because there is a system in place that takes that 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 substitutes the child's uh, contribution, but we do not have that so we do it we do it for our families because our government can't do it for them and that is the right thing right and you always say this is australia this is australia this is australia man you can live in australia in a house with unemployed and still by, live by the beach <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I, live, I, live, I, live, I live here in the U.S. And if I work where I continue to work right now for more than, uh, I think it's seven years, if I continue to work in the job that I work before I get to this radio show for seven years, I now start getting paid a check for the rest of my life. I know there's an yeah. SSS in the Philippines. I'm saying, is it livable? Mm, yeah. Is it? Is, is it livable? Especially course, when things all, all start to get expensive. To yeah, we all diba? contribute to that SSS. I'm saying, is it livable? Mm. Makatotohanang tanong. Eh, ano ko, i, pwede bang i-ano ko lang, himay-himayin ko lang yung mga i-ano. Anbaba ito ha, pamilya, pamilya. Um, yung panganay, nagkatrabaho. Sabihin natin na uh, nakatira pa sa bahay. Typical. Panganay or whatever, anak nagkatrabaho. Tapos, yung sweldo niya, eh yung hiningi sa kanya ng magulang niya is hindi niya kaya. Ang tawag po doon ay communication. <laughs> Di ba? Sabihin mo, pagka hindi pa rin, ibig sabihin nyo ng problema. Pero baka naman, pag sinayin mo, wala naman siguro magulang na, ito lang po ang sweldo ko. Kung meron man, bibihira yan sa segment ng society natin na hindi yan ang ano. Una-una, pag gano'n ang problema nyo na ultimo sweldo mo, hindi na niniwala. Hindi lang yun, ano, ang problema nyo is communication sa pamilya. Halimbawa, 10,000 ang sweldo mo, hinihingan ka ng 9,500, paliwanag mo ganun. Tapos hindi pa naniwala yung mga magulang mo. Yun, yun talaga ang problema. Hindi yun parang ano, pag-usapan nyo muna yung communication sa bahay nyo. Yun, pag ikaw naman may pera at hindi ka tumutulong sa pamilya mo, yun, ugali din yun. So, yeah. ano yan eh, i-isolate natin. Huwag natin isakay sa isang toxic na, ano, para lang may excuse ka na, eh bakit? Diba? Hindi ko naman require na ano, buhayan eh. Man, minsan kasama ang individual yun. Kasama ang individual yun na, na samasakay ka sa isang convenient truth. Ay, hindi na convenient truth eh. Ah, ito gagawin kong daylan. Pero minsan ano yun eh, personalidad ng tao yan. Pag may extra ka, magbigay ka. Pag wala ka, may pag-communicate ka na ito lang kaya mo. Ang tawag doon, communication sa pamilya. At kung wala kayong communication sa pamilya, ang unan yung address, ba't hindi kayo nagkaroon ng communication? Hindi yan sa culture and everything muna. And that's may ano ha. Kasi may pamilya ko, may communication kami. Mahirap din kami. Kaya nagkaroon kami ng communication, kaya maayos kami. So, minsan individual attack sa bawat problema, hindi yung sakay sa buong, di ba? Parang hanap nga tayo na isang uh, uh, general... alatang description dito para makatago ako sa ganong argument. Sometimes, it, it treat natin with individual problem, individual solution, hindi yung Ah, this is toxic culture. Nakakuha ka lang ng excuse. Mm -hmm. Solve your own problem sa family. And treat it as an isolated problem. And don't look for boomer, millennial. No, sometimes you have to identify your personal problem. It, it, it's just those, those solutions likes come so much from culture though. I know, pero ibig sabihin, not everything is ano. Parang ganyan tayo magkakaproblema eh. Nanay ko kasi, no. Mag-usap kayo, yung pala sabi lang na nanay mo, eh kasi anak, kakala ko, sweldo mo malaki. Ngayon alam ko na, di ka adjust kami. Yung pala, ganun lang kasimple. Nagkaroon kayo ng mga miscommunication, umiwas ka na sa, sa get-together. Minsan, simple communication. Pag wala kayong komunikasyon sa pamilya, ang problema nyo, komunikasyon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ay, hirap yeah. din pag-usapan talaga ang pera, yung specifics oh. of it. Diba? Like, magkano ba itatabi mo for retirement? Mata magkano ba itatabi mo for savings? I think siguro dun din, ano eh, parang it's an off-limits na topic for yeah. a lot of people. Like, magkano ba sweldo mo? 
do you really ask that? I know. Is that I, a comfortable I, topic? I even have a hard time asking people what their jobs are. So I was so happy when LinkedIn was, you know, a thing. Yeah, I was just you, like, you oh, know, that's your job. I, I love that you said that. I don't ask people what their job is. I don't, do like, what do you do? I don't want them I'm to I'm afraid think... of what the answer is. What? I'm afraid what their answer is when you ask people what their job is. I'm afraid of what their answer I'm afraid they say, I'm afraid they say, I'm afraid they say, I let go of COVID. And I'm, then you feel like a effing idiot. Like but a douche. Was rat. that a question I should have asked? It's it too personal. So I just wait for people to tell me what they do. I don't even know what companies they work for because I don't want it to seem also like I'm looking down on them. Yep. So that's always been my toughest question. So kung yun nga, maybe that's why it has to be more comfortable to talk about finances. Ano plan mo? Yeah. Sa, ano? Sa insurance, whatever. Maybe it just has to be a more comfortable topic. Normal, maybe. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Eight six three one zero eight nine nine is our phone number. Uh, while we're having all of this discussion, Kay keeps messaging on all platforms how much she misses. <laughs> Sambo. Sambo, I miss you. Sambo, I miss you. Uh, Joey B has a very good question that I was meaning to ask this. Thank you for reminding me, Joey B. Sam O, and, and in fact, this is something I wrote down five hours ago to ask you. What do they do in Korea? Ah, good question. Should I jump in with the echo and everything? Yeah, yeah, just power through it. Sorry. I think traditionally the culture would be to, yes, um, take care of the parents. I think though more and more um, the the homes are becoming more of a thing, sadly. Mm -hmm. And then throw in how there's this, you know, culture of like people not wanting to marry and have children. So I feel like the whole family thing is like on the verge of breaking down or something like that, which is something that I find very scary. Oh, so you're, you're kind of then Concerned. old school. Can I say that? You're, you, you're personally me? kind of like the traditional setup. Oh my gosh, me personally? Yes, yeah, you personally. I'm Absolutely. all about, I'm all about like taking care of the family. And I did it oh, yeah. joyfully. Yeah. Yeah. Like when my, yes. my family were here, my parents were here. I love doing that. Good. Yeah. That, absolutely. Yeah. The you best. old ass people. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, now, of course, the echo is still with you, right, Sam? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Maybe the echo be with the. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, the playback people, I, I think there's a disconnect. I, 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 I think sometimes there's a technical dis, uh, disconnect with how we comprehend these problems. Sam has an yeah. echo on the radio. Oh, hindi siya nagtatahimik okay. lang dahil umiiwas siya sa public. Playback is completely different. So, <laughs> all of you freaking geniuses See? understand there is a technical difference between oh. the both of them we've been the doing arms this are reaching out to you relax oh. See, ano, See, the, the same early next thing, time. like the jed pauls of the world who think they know what's going on there is a massive difference between what the radio is and what the online is but you might be like young and you don't understand that a radio is in existence it's called terrestrial radio you go in the car and you just a little transmitter broadcast it's called terrestrial yeah, that's radio that's yes. what it's called so just please shut the f up <laughs> and move on with more opinions instead of doing the tech stuff if you Sam, see most you, arms like that powering. yeah you just, better relax on the chat Oh, I can even topic. You might get you might get a heart. Ito. Just give them a heart. Basahin natin, gusto mo basahin pa para lumabas din yung init para ano, ano painitin natin to mo. Oh. Gusto mo painitin pa natin to. Get from Cavite. I think they know what the hell's going on. Thanks. Ito, ito raw mo, ito raw mo. Pinakamasakit never ka kinukumusta ng parents mo until may gastos na sabi ni final boss. Aww. And kausapin mo yung parents mo. It's a, it's your parents problem. Hindi yan. That's all parents. Nangungumusta lang pag may gastos na. Talk to your parents, ma. Kinukumusta mo lang ako pag may gastos. Bakit? O, di tapos ang solusyon. Ay, anak, sorry ha. Hindi ko alam na ganun pala. Alam mo, magbabago ko ngayon. And we have solved an individual problem. One individual with group and we're solving a lot of problems. Isolated. Isolated. I don't know if it's that easy, Lex. I, I know, pero... What will you like do? Reklamo ka lang, reklamo ka lang. No, no, it is. It, listen, I'm not saying your your system is wrong. I don't think... It's that easy because our solutions, I think, our solutions come from the way we do things. And it takes generations to get rid of that. Talk. Pag sinabi ng parents mo na, hindi, 
Naalala lang talaga ito. Yun, problema nyo talaga yun. Ibig sabihin, pero mali mo, sometimes, ano mo, usap talaga ang nagpapalinaw sa lahat. Eh. Yung, sorry mga, kala kasi, di ba? I mean, Parang that gano? is a point. And a lot of people do take that for granted na communication could fix a lot of things. But how do you do that? I mean, for people who are asar in general. Kinukumusta ka ng pera kung pagka may kailangan lang, bigay ka naman. E di tutuloy lang nalang. Kasi wala naman sila alam na na hindi sa sa'yo okay. Pero ma, nakakalata na ako ha. In a nice way. Lagi mo na nice naalala kung may problema pag one. sinasabi, anak, pasensya na. Kasi syempre naman, alam mo. E di sa papapa, di ba? So konting lambing, konting humor. Oo. Oh, okay. And some directness. Huwag natin like gawin that. lahat ng MMK ang buhay. Uh-uh. Diba? Ang normal tendency mo, pag separated ang parents mo, magdroga ka kasi acceptable sa teleserye yun. Kumuha ka ng masama. Eh, wala din ang parents kung hindi naman ako nagkaganon. Nasa tao yan. Yeah, yeah actually. Hiwalay din yung parents oh. ko. And I tried to go against the tide. Of Masasabihin mo na naman, ah, dito talks drugs. naman si Alex. Dito talks. You keep on labeling people. <laughs> diba? Well, yeah, people don't want to be put in a box in general. So, don't yeah. do that to Kuya Alex. Doon din ako sasabing It's... easier said than done. Do it first. Pag wala nang yan, at least you've done something. Yun ang sinasabi ko. Pero pag ganyan right. pa lang, ikaw ang sinasabi na, oh, madaling sabihin pero mahirap gawin. And you're part of the problem. Sorry, you're Alex. Part, diba? Kasi <laughs> pasaya mo, alam mo, ama, Alex, gamutin mo ng alcohol yung sugat mo. Hindi, di naman kasi ano eh. Di naman effective yan eh. Gamutin mo muna. Pag hindi naging fetty, Bye. next step. Pero pag kalimbawa, sinayin mo na kagad na assumption and everything, ang daming sabi, ang daming excuse para magkagulo. Pero minsan, try mo lang. Right, try mo right, yung smart right. mo. Gawin mo lahat sa'yo. Tapos pag wala nangyari, then that's it. Ginawa mo ang sa, ano mo. Di ba? Yes, some people have actual family meetings. Like, I have seen families do this the pangilinan family they like have family meetings i'm like what are you doing we have a family meeting i slept over at their house and one time in the south and i was just like what are they doing this is so unheard of we're gonna sit down and talk about the week they have these updates so you I mean communication is very open for some families i mean maybe those are the practices that you could adapt in your own family yeah perhaps Sam has uh, communicated in this family meeting that we need to take a commercial break. So, so, wait, ito na lang. Final na lang mo. Gusto ko na talaga mag-ituno natin ito para bago tayo mag-break, mag-let go na tayo. <laughs> Mahirap may pagtalo sa self-righteous, self-absorbed parents na lagi nagsisimba araw-araw. And that's <gasps> your parents. And that's your problem. Solve it within your, ano, wag siyang i-apply sa general, ano na, ang lahat ng parents are self-righteous. Maybe that's your isolated parent. Talk to them. At pag wala right. talaga, and that's an isolated problem na you need an isolated Self-righteous. solution. Do not yeah. get something na ano, in, the, in the universe para sabihin na I'm hopeless <laughs> because part ng generation nila yan. Maybe your parents din ang nasasabi. I don't think, I, I still believe in communication. Yeah. yeah. Well, some are maybe with great faith. They like to go to church and they like to instill that in their kids. At one point in your life, all that all those values will make sense and how strong you become because of it and how moral you are and how in the end of life, you know, being moral, being good, having faith, it actually is a good thing that our parents leave us because you will know in the end that that's all that matters in this world. I mean, all the oh. wealthy people. Punta, ka, punta ka sa doktor. Punta ka sa doktor. Huwag ka magsayita. Sige, paano masasolve yung problema mo? Hi, Doc, patang dito ka. I think it's the age. I think it's the age. I think you know, it's 51. You know, you know, Kay, again, I think, I love what you just said. Even though somebody said, what the F did Kay just say? I love what you just said. I think um, in the end, that is all you got. And and again, I think I come from a place where I don't really have to be stressed about money all that much. So I can concentrate most on my relationship with my immediate family. Um, I love, I'm not the most verbal person. I know it's crazy to hear that, but I, but I always want to be around. Like my daughter is 10 years old and I escort her down the stairs every single time still, because it's in that moment, it's not just, Oh, I wish you had a wonderful, I just want her to know I'm there always constantly. Like my siblings, 
again, I'm not the most verbal person in the GC. They are a lot more chatty <laughs> than I am, but it's 50, 60, 70 messages daily. Because, yeah. and then while it's not a product so much of us helping each other financially because we had money growing up, but it's, we slept in the same bed together till we were teenagers. We have, sorry, forgive me. It, it's, you know, but just for reality, we have six bedrooms in our house growing up, but we all slept in one room. Those bedrooms were empty. They were decorated, but they were empty. You know, I had basketball posters and all that stuff, but I, I never slept a night in it. We were together all the time, every day. And it manifests now that in our 40s, we're sending 50, 60 messages to each other daily. Cute. It's not independent. It can be argued as completely unhealthy <laughs> that I sleep <laughs> next to my mom when I'm in college, when I have plenty of bedrooms to choose from. But that's what I did by choice. And I, and I think we reap the benefits as a family in our 40s. And I want my children to sleep next to me all the time for the same reason. I want it to recycle. I want it to happen again as it happened to me when I was younger. Yeah. And that's terrible parenting. It's terrible and unhealthy. It's completely mm -hmm. backwards and not independent. But I effing love it. Take a break. When we come back. Sabi ng Bini. Ano ba sabi ng Bini, Sam? Magrexona. Ah, okay. <laughs> also, the Trevinos are tuned in. Joy Spring and Wancho. Hi, guys. Hi. Ay, naku, si Joy. Hey, Hi, Joy. what's going on, guys? We'll take a break. When we come back. Blah, 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 blah. Back after this. <laughs> Magic 89.9's Good Times in the Morning. And uh, we are at 861 If you want to call us and hi to hello, everybody on. 732. Uh, nice. Grabe naman yung topic pressure. na yun. Nakakaiyak. Okay, next topic. You were disowned by your family. Nakakaiyak na yung last day. You're the black sheep. 861. Hindi ako makarelate. Black sheep. <laughs> black topic. Hindi ka tunay na anak. Pero ngayon mo lang nalaman. Call now. Ano ka sa labas? Di mo alam. Hey, check. Ang matindi, ikaw pa sumusuporta sa pamilya. Nalaman mo, hindi ka pala tunay na anak. Ayoko na. Hey guys, that was a good time to tell everybody where they can see you outside of this place. Alex, fire away. Where in the world? Malalaman na naman ang pamilya ko. Hihingi na naman ang pera yun. Pagkita-kita tayo sa Pampanga bukas. At tonight, ay, Friday. Uh, Jeff's Galleon dun sa Meats and Deli. Kain kayo sa Meats and Deli. Restaurant namin yan. Masarap ang pagkain dyan sa Rockwell, The Grove Passing. And of course, may worship ako sa August 17 sa Asbury. And of course, ang birthday show ko. October 4 yes. and 5, Maybank Theater. October 11, Music Museum. October 12, dyan sa Insular Life. Ang ticket ay available sa ticketworld.com.ph. See you sa US, August 23 to September 1. All details, alexcalia.com and thecomedycrew.com. Punch time with Alex Kalia. Ang ganda ng topic. So, listen. Right. Yeah. Listen. I'm How about going you, right uh, now. girlfriend? Well, Wait, what? I'm... Oh, what? Wait, what? Okay. I'm What'd going right now to ticketworld.com.ph to book my tickets because there's an early bird promo. Oh, yeah. Well, we That's know you're big point. on the sale. That's my you're, Yeah. You're, you're, you're big on the sale. If you want to do a block buy, the bring your barcada. Better. DM me. <laughs> DM me. <laughs> Can you I'll can we call do you like back? A, can, can you do like a kind of listener meet up there uh, for our group? I mean, I think that would yes. be nice. Yes. Do you section? want an after party? No, I will no. fix Calm it. Calm down. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, how about this? Why not have like a section of the because I don't know the theater. You know it. You did your uh, musical there. Um, why not have a section just for our group here? So like. Oh, you can't we're telling like okay, Kay's gonna sit in one thirty-four, for example. And then if you're you know, from the show, everybody let's go on that side. So when Alex does that thing in concerts where you kind of point and the crowd cheers, you'll have this good oh, time. Right here. Yan. Yeah. But guys, wait. I'm so sorry, because we announced it on the radio. Mm. The website just crashed. Oh my god. Power. Oh my power. god. Keith, wait, time out. I I kid you not. 
nagwala ang mga listeners. All seven hundred of them on the playback, they went there and it crashed. Freaking crashed. <laughs> The power you hold. Kailangan ko na sino ko. Okay. Alamin mo muna ako anong ibig sabihin ng peer review dito. Bago pa kami. Yeah. Before you promote this level of infidelity, you should know what it means. And then nag-work na po yung yung site. Okay na. Ay, sayang. I was about to do our dance. Tutuloy na ba si Gabor? Yeah. Okay. Let's fix an after party. Which day do you want an after party? Uh, for Maybank. Ah, manonood. Maybank ka siyempre, manonood ka ba? I almost feel like And this then, is a WhatsApp conversation. No, 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 no. We have to have the listeners there. So once we have <laughs> the date, we will go to out of office across the street. My my niece owns it. Oh. And we will have a party there. Sa so, Maybank? You know, across the street from Maybank. After, oh, the, after the show, we'll eat there. October with the 5. listeners. October 5. Is that your actual birthday? No, seven. I'm going to have a seizure if you guys don't hurry up with this seven, uh, yeah. conversation. Why? Seven, oh, October okay, seven. Sige, sige, sige. Mas nearer yung October five. Game? Okay. Sa loob tayo. Okay. Apoy natin yung board. Oh, about, my it's God. It's so Saturday night. We're going to go dancing. <laughs> yes. Zumba. Boomer dancing only. <laughs> Joke. You were disowned by your family. 86310889. No, uh, Kay's drama is... Her yes. podcast, definitely uh, go check it out. And the big thing, wait, did you, was that off air when you told me what you're doing for the podcast? Or did you say that on air yesterday? I don't want to like. Well, we are it. going to Singapore to do some episodes oh, right. do there with some you. friends who I worked with in Singapore and some Filipinos in Singapore, just to give you a, like an idea what OFW life is like, like. From what I've seen or from what I've experienced. This is next my week. Friends. This is next this week. This is next week. Nice. Oh my gosh. I must eat in the hawker. Hookers? Hawker. I did I did work in the hooker building there. It's called Archer Tower when I did a show. I was once a prostitute? No. Pole dancer. Oh. It was and the show was called PI2. It's funny. Private investigator. Nice. Um, Sam, how about you? I know, again, there's an echo problem with you, but might, might as well tell the world about the Bible. Okay, don't tell the world about the Bible. That no, might... because I, I I just put, I just ate like strepsils. I, I'm ingesting something right now. It's not the best time. Mm, oh, you're, you know, the strepsils are a little, I find strepsils to be a little too strong. Like it numbs your whole face when you put that thing in your mouth. Can we get a little flavor with that? Yeah. Yeah, the strepsils like your tongue then then like the entire time. It's too powerful for me. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I was just trying to go from prostitution tower to the Bible, but fine. I guess I get judged here. <laughs> um all right, let's get to some conversation. Uh hmm. Mabigat to, mabigat. tissue. I think people are asking us for a cuento kadiri to help put some balance in this universe. Wag natatawa ako, natatay talaga ako, promise. Seryoso, seryoso. Kala ko may lalag. Iba lang yung powers ko, promise. You know, you know, when nagtatay ka when you're like this. Natatay talaga ako, promise. Kaya hindi ko na kung close ba tayong family para sabihin eh. Or bagay ba ito sa... Ano, family meeting ba ito? Oh, pero natatay talaga ako right now, promise. Bring the laptop! Bring the laptop to the... No! Hindi ko alam, man. Hindi, ba't naman off mo yung video? Hindi ko alam. No! Hindi ba ako maano ko yung malos ako sa usapan ay yung gusto na apo ko sa trabaho. Kahit wala akong bahay dito, iba talaga ang investment ko. Pero natatay ako ngayon, promise. Nakagano na yung sasapit ko. Happy birthday! May naramdam na ako maliit siya pero alam kong may nagdetake na siya ng space doon sa flip ko. Pero what the hell? Let's go! Let's do this! Anong topic and mo? You know, I rarely take topics... Crap, I never I rarely take topics from you guys. What more from listeners sending me a DM? But uh somebody did say, Hey, how about a cuento kadiri akala ko edition, which is or your or akala mo edition, where you thought it was something, but it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> let's go. I don't know how does this uh, does this happen often? 
where akala, you know, akala mo it's one thing, but it actually is something kadiri. I mean, is, does that happen? Yeah, akala mo. Like, akala yun, mo eh. utot, pero tapos. Kain na pala. <laughs> it's really gross. Uh, I know, does this happen? Yeah. It does? Okay, it's a good one. Eight six three one. Yeah, eight, space nine, nine. yesterday. I looked at it. I said, "Akala ko dumi, pero parang kulangot." <laughs> ko. <laughs> okay, playback.tv slash good times. You can tell your stories there. You can call us at eight six three one three eight nine nine. The akala ko, akala ko edition of Kwentong Kadiri. You let us know what you were mistaken by and realized it was something. Much worse. Uh, let's see. I'm labor na ako. Or CM na. Promise. Yung contraction. Just run and run back. Yung contraction na dumadalas na. Jimmy, who is in Toronto, uh, Canada, says, Akala ko papel lang yung nasa loob ng sapatos ko. <laughs> Biglang ipis pala. Okay, Jimmy. yeah, that's kind of rough. I, I, I can do this. Why? I have to go <laughs> back. I have to go. Run! <laughs> we'll be right back oh he should have like the stickers for poop while he's away you know how sometimes you can put your raise your hand you put the poop is this our Thai song it's this right just stop you crying it's a sign of the times we gotta get away from here okay um Let's take some calls. Sorry, we, we have a bunch of calls on hold. My apologies. 8631 Good morning. Morning. June. Ooh, what? June. June, turn hey, off your radio. Your radio. Your radio. Sorry. Sa adobo? Adobo, yeah. So, it was on top of the oven, so he... Ate. Are you put any what was sauce it? on top of the oven? Well, well, it was top, on top of the oven because uh it was the uh of my smaller brother, my younger brother. So your your younger brother pooped tuma isha on top of the kitchen oh. counter. And then yung kuya ko, he, it, he thought it was liver <laughs> and ate it. Yes. It tastes yeah, the same. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it tastes the same. Not poop yeah, and liver. Plato? Poop and liver tastes the same. <laughs> okay. Thank Thank you. you. Have a good day. Bye. And it was a big bite too. I love that we I, I love that we started with that. Like that's a that's the pr- that's a proper KK call. Properly done. Um, Posh and everything. Thank you. That's what you call Quentin Kadiri, KK. That's my name. Yeah, and it also could be something else. But uh, <laughs> let's take a call. L- lines are full. Good morning. Hi, who's this? Paolo. Paolo, Paolo. can you take us off the speakerphone, Paolo, so we can hear you properly? Eh. All right. Yeah, sure. I'm oh, sorry. Now. I apologize. Anyway, I apologize. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, is this is this better? Yes, it is. What do you got? All right. So this is a story when I was a kid. So um, my dad he likes to eat peanuts. Okay. So nuts and basically. Yeah. And uh, what happened is uh, when I was a kid, um, my my father saw on the floor a peanut. Looks like a peanut, but uh, when he smelled it. He, he's about to eat it. It's poop <laughs> coming from me. From who? From you? Oh, like a from light me. colored yeah. poop. Punta na okay. Sa was it? Was it a? Did you poop the peanut? To ka ng ng mane no, or uh, it's it like, like a, a pea size poop? Yes. How old were you? I don't know, a baby. Oh, oh, man. Uh-huh. Called love. I've done that. Okay, oh, thanks for the call. No, I haven't. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> Uh, speaking of nuts, uh, Cascon, who's in New Jersey, USA, says, I don't mix nuts, but it was really dog food. <laughs> <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> I love it. 
Uh, Ranchu says, post-operation from a pancreas removal. I don't think you can take your pancreas out, uh, but maybe our deep medical listenership can confirm this or not. I don't, I don't think you can take your pancreas out. Anyway, uh, I farted once and fluid came out. I thought pancreatic bile, but it was the oil from the eating the gindera fish. Lots of oil came out. I think you're talking about your gall- gallbladder. You remove the gallbladder. Hence, when you remove the gallbladder, that's when you'll get a lot of that oils and stuff kind of just come out. Gindera, really yeah. yeah. It was like that diet drug, no? But it yeah. was in the natural version. You poop oil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you remove your gallbladder, it's quick oil pooping right away. Jewel says, I C2. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Look at, the emotional, look at the emotional investment. Hindi <laughs> kasi her road tripping sa yaya with your friends singing and then nino mo yung C2. Uh, we break sa car. Pass by a gas station. People. I love how you have a whole narrative already written out. Kasi kung road trip tapos gumagana and you'll C2. Feels like... <laughs> you know, I have a bit of lemon in my mouth from the strep cell so medyo yeah. feel ko yung ano. Yung C2 ihe. Oh. Okay, good. But I mean, scratch and sniff. Eight six three one zero eight nine nine lines are full. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Who's good this? Good morning. Mike. Mike, I thought I told you never to call the show again the other day. Why not? I miss you guys. Oh, okay. I miss you too, and Sam. Oh, I miss you, Sam. Oh. Don't overdo it. It'll, it'll, it'll empower him. Okay, go ahead. Um, nasa probinsya kami nito, galing kami ng kuya ko ng klaro ng basketball. Tapos, pagkagaling ng court, umuwi kami ng bahay, may isang baso doon ng tubig sa lamesa. Oh, no. Ininom ng kuya ko, <laughs> nawala sa isip na yun pala yung pinagbabara ng postiso ng lola namin. Classic. Yeah. Classic. Ayun yeah. lang. Good morning, guys. That's why we're not supposed to take care of the elderly when they're old, is because in any glass of water could be the water that they put their dentures inside. So thanks, Mike. Uh, Jack says, I have a candy wrapper inside my jacket, but yeah, Epis. Uh, <laughs> how, how do you mistake in those two? Crunchy. Oh, it's the crunch. Yeah. And then I threw it to the HR assistant. Um was what Jack said here. Um GTWM addict says, Akalako, my beer bottle. Oh, it was yeah. actually my girlfriend's cheat spit beer bottle. What's that? Is this an alcohol thing? I don't get it. Ah, uh, you don't want to get too drunk. You just put it in the other bottle. So people, you guys do this? Well, it's yeah. Wait, what? Especially what? when people are putting the drinks in your mouth. Expand a little bit more, Lasengera. What are you talking about? I think Gino Kiliamor taught me this. Just so, pretend to drink it and just spit it somewhere. Oh, okay. Because okay, so obviously you're an attractive girl. A lot of people are trying to buy you drinks. You don't want to be uh, rude, so you'll take a a drink of it, but you will spit it in another bottle, and that's a I, d- that's I never did accumulation it another bottle. Of- yeah, that's an accumulation of spat out bottle. Perhaps oh, yeah. that's what she did. Yeah. Alex it's always just the floor. Alex, 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 uh-huh. Alex, Alex, if Barbie Imperial had a spit bottle filled with alcohol. That's life. <laughs> Ten years younger. Ganda ang solid no ano ko nilabas ko. Pinaka perfect na nakita ko yun. Ah, like good. Mamadali nga ako eh, talagang... Sobra talaga. Para ikwento. Ang sarap talaga ng promise. Ay, nako. Buti na napag-uwal sa mabuti. Oh my God! Your face! Ano? I hate you. Ay, shit. Sorry. Akala ko nun na. Ay, sorry. Sorry. Kinain mo. What are you talking about? The, the S word? Or what? What do you, what do you Look now Look at his argue? face. Look at his face. What is that? What? Tae. 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 Pwede ka diri. Oh, wait, hold on. Blurry ka kasi. Hold on, hold on. I need to look at the Zoom mismo para may tae. Mga... Technical na yun, Mo. Technical problem na yun, Mo. Ginawa what ko na it, lahat. What is it, Nutella? Huh? Wow, Nutella? Goya? 
Ano magtasayang ako ng tela? Pambisita 'yon. Para tumang bisita 'yon. It's extraordinary and I like to It's Quentin Padiri the akala ko uh, edition. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Hi, who's this? I'm Stevo. Stevo, radio off please, sir. What is going on? Yeah, so I thought it was IC pero patis pala. Oh no. So <laughs> really the guy in the glass with ice. So <laughs> yung maid ang nagkamali. Hindi mo na amoy? Oo. Um, hindi. Oh, yeah. Galing basket eh. Galing basket. So, when you're eating, you won't smell it. Then, pagka nagok ko, uh, patis. Sino ka mo? Ang alat mo. Oo. Yeah, I tried to. But, tapos parang hindi na ako nagpatis for the entire year. So, <laughs> yung tininga mo, amoy patis? Ano ba kung anong kaamoy ng patis? <laughs> What is that? Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys. Thanks. Alex, can you eat that a little bit more sensual? I mean, my goodness. This one? No, he means the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> This one, Mo? Ew. You want some patties with that? <laughs> Labot kasi na ebs ko. Inuubos it, Sam. Lex, come on. This is banana. <laughs> 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 Uh, 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 weird. Hey, uh, dinadag ako pa na ang sound effect, guys. Uh, no. Hindi ka na-atulong, na-atulong ka pa. I'm just a bachelor Looking for a partner Gotta be too bad as well Ah. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Came with the came with the representation. I love it. Where are we? Dun sa akala mo ano pero tayo na pala. <laughs> Ay para ano pala iba. Akala <laughs> mo friends lang. By the way, Sam wants to say that Alex, you are employee of the week this week. Oh, and we should really bring this back and I definitely think I will Um, for the four of us, maybe even Bam, uh, to throw in there for Employee of the Week. I think we should really, truly bring this back. And Alex, you do deserve ah. it here at 6 a.m. every day this week. No, because all- the dancing. The, the dancing Zumba. is so extra. Oh, it's been fantastic. Uh, next call, 8631-8900. No, but Sam, uh, honorable mention for Sam for coming into work two days of the four uh, being sick, which is uh, very admirable oh, as well. Oh, Shukai, Good morning. Good morning. Hi, who's this? Ah, uh, hi. This is Shesko from Playback, actually. Hey, Chef. What's going on? Yeah. So, um, my question kajiri is, I used to be vegan, so I'm always eating vegetables, ganon. So, nung one time, nung napoops na ako, nung naguhugas ako, may naramdaman ako, sabi ko, ano to, hemorrhoids? Pero, <laughs> tapos, hindi eh, hinawakawakan ko pa. <laughs> Tapos, nisip ko, pero hindi naman makat eh. Tapos, hinila ako yun pala, ano, yung mga gulay, yung mga green leaf. <laughs> and color of the week! And, 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 was... sa and vegetable siya. And the lesson is to really chew your pagkain. Is that the lesson? Or... talaga? <laughs> Ba't ulo ko ba ng buhin talo? Hindi. <laughs> yung mga dahon-dahon. Hindi ah, mo na-rush eating. Ano kang hunguhain mo, girl? Eh kasi, minsan nagmamadali. Mamadali. <laughs> That... Hindi matunaw yung sitaw? Bye. Hindi matunaw yung sitaw? <laughs> That is, uh... Yeah. That's so hot. Wow. <laughs> Don? Wow. You're shitting solid. I like that. You know, I, I gotta say, that's probably one of our better uh, KK calls in a while. Because it had everything. It had a grotesque Nutrition. level. Yeah, I mean, it it started off with the vegan claim, which of course is always controversial, but she, would, she was an ex-vegan, so we like, gave her a pass. And then she proved <laughs> she had hemorrhoids. And then she said she pulled on her hemorrhoid, which is so rock star. And then uh, only to realize it was undigested 
food, and then she had advice at the end. Chew your food. Yeah. Eat your uh, greens, chew your food. That was a complete call. I love you, Chef. 8631-899, the line's full. The question, well, the addition is uh and Cuento Khadiri is the uh, topic. Good morning. Hello. Hey, hey who's this? Young Taka. Ah, this is Gary. Gary, radio off. Uh, uh, off now. Go ahead. Uh, yung, yung sa akin, one, uh, one time yung kamakain kami ng tropa ko sa Chinese restaurant. Medyo mm. plus ng konti. Tapos yung sa kontropa nasa harap ko, sabi niya, pero ayaw mo itong taba, masarap to. Kinuha niya. Mabilis lang kinubo sa bibig niya. Tapos medyo nagulat ako, sabi ko, yun yung kasi yung, yung baka na makunat na sinet aside ko sa, sa bowl ko. Tapos, um, minunguya niya na madaga kasi sobrang, medyo malaki yung baka. Na, natawa ako kasi naka, nakafinger niya sa akin. Tapos, dinadretso yung nguya niya kasi hindi niya malunok kasi medyo malaki. Tapos sabi niya, PI ka. Tapos, pero yun yung na-realize niya, hindi yun siya taba. So, medyo makunat na baka. Masagal ko lang inunguya before. Kinuha niya bigla sa bowl ko. Eh, ayun, that's, that's ah, niluwa mo yun. Niluwa ko na yun dati, nung uh, earlier. Kasi oh, mamatigyan. Oh, oh. Nakala niya taba ng baka, mahilig siya sa taba. Okay, Kasi okay yung na. Kasi yung kaya niya ngayon yung nagyayari sa akin. Ah, nakapingo. Okay. Ah, nagets na na. Oh, oh, nagets na na. Medyo malaki yung, yung part. Oo, oh, medyo malaki tapos nanguya mo na yun. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, finger siya. Obligated siya na itchu ng itchu. Oo, oh, oh, kasi nga matagal niya. Yeah. It's oh, a responsibility oh, that his parents oh, do. Tapos, naluwa mo, <laughs> na, na, naniluwa mo lang itas kanina. Tapos, kaya nag-guide siya. Tapos, okay. Any more info? Can Friends pa kayo? Ah, yun lang. Friends? Friends pa kayo? Oo. Taba ng baka to, no? Taba ng baka? Oh, and yung sa akin kasi big biscuit siya, oh, so medyo magat. Oh, makunat, no? Akala niya taba. Oh, akala oh. niya taba. Tapos yung nalaman niya ano, yung nahihirap pala siya, anong ginawa sa iyo? Ah, uh, naka-finger siya sa akin. Oh, oh tama. Siya. Oh. Ininger ka. Tapos gawa lang oh. siya ng maya habang naka-finger siya sa akin. Oh. Hindi ka talaga sabi sa akin. Ininger niya. Oo. Nakatatag pa ng baboy. Kala niya baboy, kala niya baboy, no? Gusto ko ng baboy. Akala niya taba ng ano ng baka. Yung pala baka. <laughs> Thank you for your host. Have a good day. Tal Samo. So mag gusto mo si Tal Samo. I miss you, Sam. Hi. Pogoshi po, Shamo. That's I miss you in Korean. For you non-Korean speakers. Pachinko is August 23, I believe. Just Oh my gosh. Ready. Can reminder. we interview Lee Min Ho on the show? Maybe he wants to like promote his show. You know, once I ate at a Filipino restaurant, I ate at a Sabi tuloy nung nasa playback, pangit daw ng ending ng kwento ka, Diri. Tawag pa rin sa caller. Sabay, sabay, sabay. 8631-0899, give us a call. Uh, kwento ka, Diri. Hello? Hello? Hello, good morning. Hi, who's this? Arvin. Arvin, you're on the show. What's up? What's up? Um, Nag-inuman kami one time ng mga friends ko. So, meron akong pulutan nun na uh, nagaraya. Eh, I don't eat the peanuts. So, I spit it out in the table. I put it in top of the tissue. And then, one of my friends was eating the peanuts. <laughs> that I spit it out. Like, I know, did you at least get all of the seasoning off of it? Yeah. Did you eat it? No? Did you eat it? No, I just ate the coating. Eh. Oh. Then, I spit the peanuts. Mm-hmm. Wow. That is incredible. Pero hindi ko naman sinasadya yun. Oo no naman. Oo oh, naman. Ilagay mo ba naman sa gitna eh. Oo. Oh. Pwede mo itapon yun eh. Oo oh, nasa side. Oo oh, naman. <laughs> Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Thank Bye. You. Thank you. you know, I like these last two calls. That's disgusting, man. But hindi kasi yung ano eh, yung babae na kinakalikot niya yung kwet niya, na tapos dalawa yung nakakalikot niya. Hey, but come on. Like that's, you're already, that's Kamejo Hall of Fame level. Oh, um, di ba? Of 
this is not a competition. Oh, hindi siya. But, ano, pero ma- matindi yung kinakapa mo na, uy, kala ko Almoranas. Ay, gulay know, pala. Okay, okay. okay but, come on matindi. Now. Okay, honestly though, honest. I would rather pull on a hemorrhoid and be mistaken and it be uh, gulay. vegetables than eat a regurgitated taba from my friend. Oh, oh my God, regurgitated. I know, but right? I mean, come on. Uh, while it, it, the, Para the only, yung regurgitated on. fat mo, asar man. Yeah. <laughs> Friendship over tayo, bro. Asar man. And it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Regurgitated hard life, man. fat. Hard life, man. Hard life. 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 Hard I, I can't deal. Girl. I can't deal with this regurgitated fat. F O. I'm gonna block you from my Insta, bro. <laughs> with all the thing up, bro. <laughs> you you ate all the coated pare. <laughs> you left me with money. That's uh. That's so bastos of you. Ew. <laughs> this will damage me forever, pare. <laughs> Damaged. <sighs> Regurgate. Eat it. Regurg- so you say, it like, say it, like, say it, go. What, what? Regurgate. <laughs> Masusok ka mo muna talaga ako sumuka kaysa masabi ko yung word na yun. Regur- go, 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 say it, say it. Re- regurgated. Corrugated. Ano pa, paano pa po Rosky? Hindi ko rin alam. I've never Re- used that. Regurgated. Regurgated? <laughs> Regurgitated. Tama. Tama ba? Ako dito. Niluwa. Is it niluwa? Or natuna kasi tas niluwa? Hindi naman sinuka. But pronounce K. You know when okay, you know when birds feed their bird baby birds? Right, they gonna regurgitate it. it. Regurgitate ah. regurg, regurg. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, can you do it? <laughs> Sam can do it. Sam, can you do it? Yeah? Regurgitated? Yes. Regurgitated. Regurgitated. Okay. Gurgi. Okay, talaga say tanin sa Sa ano, no, sa suka, no? Parang, regurg, regurg, regurg. Yeah, Parang, but then you have to say taba. Regurgitated taba. Regurgitated taba. Yeah, yeah there you go. Reg- In a high-end... What? It's from a high-end Chinese restaurant, too. Don't forget. Okay. I gotta read this one. Mari says, I woke up super mad at my ex-boyfriend. Told him, bakit basang basa ang kama? He told me it's because I sat on his face. And that was all just, you know, sexual liquid. I got so drunk that night. So, pinagalitan pa si boy. Pero it was, akala niya. Regurgitated. Gusto pa magtagal sa sa topic. Tapos kayo, ayaw na kalis sa po. Pinoy radio fans, regurgitated Gutierrez. Oh my gosh. Ako nga in his pelpe. Regurgitated. Oh, oh, that's what mommy know. birds do for the baby birds. Yes, yes. For the baby. Are we done here? Uh, Sam, the regurgitating is vomited because you swallowed it already. Uh, uh. Uh. Um, GMO Pao says, Friend and I were walking along. Where is that? Moraita? Oh, Moraita. Moraita, Moraita. All laughs until we pass through a garbage truck loading some <laughs> trash. Juices splash directly ah, on my friend's mouth. Yeah. Ew. Man, laki ako sa hirap kaya hindi ko naranasan niyan, pre. Masamang tao <laughs> ka niyan. Iwas lang, iwas. Hindi mo iwasan yun, Kay. Masamang tao ka doon. Yung talagang nag-ano yung, yung, yung lahat na kasalanan mo, ginanti talaga ng... Bilo mo taksi ka ng juice ng gabaso. May, wala kang okay, can, can I say this? Okay, can I say this? This is early, you know, first edition Kwento Kadiri. Now, we all know Kwento Kadiri was given, we, we gave birth to this topic because Susie, Tin, as you know her, um, her, the original story was her crush came over to her house 
diba? making ligaw. And uh, Tin had her regla. So she had her pad. She didn't wrap the pad like well. She just put it in the trash. And the dog went to the trash, grabbed the regla pad, and brought it back to Susie. With her crush right there. Day three. Okay. That was the original. Hey, no red this flag. is what you wanted me hey, no to red do. Flag. No, 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 no. I'm getting somewhere to this. I'm getting somewhere to this. <laughs> but when we first did this segment, so we started with that and all these calls are coming in and all that stuff. Because there was no edition. It was just like, Cuento Kediri, anything and everything. Okay. So it was nonstop. And one of the first calls I remember was a very young girl. I would say maybe, you know, 18, 17, all that stuff. She called and she said, I was riding in a jeepney. And uh, she was in the front with Manong. And she was <laughs> she was not in the middle of the seat, but, you know, the seat on the, where, where the open area is on the right, passenger side. And there was a uh, taong grasa naghagis ng tae at the jeepney and it hit her right in the mouth. That's an awesome story. Imagine you're just some innocent Chances, no? student just driving. It's just on a, and just you get hit in the face, in the mouth, open mouth with Taungrasa poop. Hell, man, hell. I don't know. That's but, like one of my favorite ones. Maybe her family's happy. Why? All Why bad. Maybe. Okay. Why would they well, do that? <laughs> oh, every time I accidentally step on poop, I'm thinking it's lucky day. The luckiest day. Kwento ko dili, naapakan mo edition, 86312. We are always stepping on poop at home. Oh, do you? Yeah. Bear? Yeah. Or chinelas? Bear. I hate chinelas. Oh, I have chinelas you. today. But yeah, Thank you, you have chef. to ground yourself. Swear bare feet. Yeah. Does the tae is it one of those things? Because you know, with when it comes to animal tae, it's different because it could be like mushes into your foot, or it's kind of harder, and you almost kind of just like you could able to almost like kick it away. Well, Finny so. is like always just eating egg and camote. Ah, okay. So you're it just mushes in. It's mushy. Okay, so matter like play doh like. Lucky, lovely. Oh, that's love. And it's one of those things. I guess, like, when it comes to tae, like, if you're like, I've picked up many tae in my life of my dog, and even if like I have a bag, and then all of a sudden, say the bag has a hole in it, I didn't know, and then the tae gets all over your hand. It's different. You love them. It's okay, mm -mm. right? I mean, there's so much love. Right. It's as if you're just holding hair. It's no big deal. Uh We'll take a break. When we come back, we have more of the show. It is 8.37 on uh, this Thursday morning. It is our Friday as well, by the way, everybody. So no radio show tomorrow. So we are maximizing the rest of the day today. Back after this. Don't go away. Magic 89.9's Good Times in the Morning. I'm only one call away. So, Kate, you're messaging me while I'm playing the song, and you're asking me if I play, I'm playing the song for you. Is it on. for me? I don't get the connection. Survey says. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Why? 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 Why do you? Oh, I just want to say hi to my producer, Gabby. She's listening. Why did you think I invited for you? Because you said friend. Call me, call me when you need a friend. No. Why? Did you play I me? I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't know. No. I thought you were just being a friend to me. No, I, I, I'm playing it for you. I didn't know. I, I am playing it for you. I sometimes... Uh -huh. That is me. No, no, it's not that. I mean, I would play it for you if I knew, but I thought maybe there was like a juicy story behind it. Like, why this song? Oh, Superman? You know? You never know. Maybe had a role. I know I didn't na Superman. Really? Okay. Any Batman. other man? Yeah. Batman, boy. <laughs> did you date anybody? Did you date any superhero like play, play, people who played a superhero role? 
uh, a spelunker. Ooh, interesting. A Batman. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps. I would have loved to have dated an Iron Man. That would have been so cool. I love yeah. Robert Downey. So sorry. Yeah. I loved him in um Chances Are. Like, oh my god, favorite. what a movie. With um Right? What's your that, name? Like oh Sybil Shepherd. She's just my favorite actress. Really good song, by the way, there. Uh why what's the uh, it's a uh, Bette Midler, was it? Or who did huh? there's a no, no 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 but it's a very yeah. famous song in the Philippines. After all, after all uh, Oh gosh, let's go karaoke soon. How oh, we could have a karaoke party? Chances too. are, I'm tired. Then chances are. The yeah, but after it, was all. It, was it after all? Oh, yeah, it is after all. That's right. Who sings that? Don't you trust me? No, I do trust you, but I don't know the singer. We keep coming back. Peter, Peter Zatera. Isn't the Karate Kid Part Two? No, it's Bayon. Guys, you have to watch Chances Are. It's one of the best. Oh, yeah, no. Sure. At ako, tama ako. Tapos pag nakita niyo si Robert Downey, yung, oh my God, so handsome. Oh. I love him. Oh. Really, you know, I I, uh, I think one of my most, I get remembered cuento I've had here on the show is the the ups and downs of, of a Robert De Niro. Um, you know, back in those days, Robert, Robert Downey. I'm oh, sorry, no, Robert. Robert Downey Jr., sorry. Um, you know, was going through a really rough time with the drugs, and um, he was doing Ali McBeal at the time, and then yeah, he had to yeah. cut the story on Channel Nine. It was really rough. He used to sneak into people's homes and just like hide in cribs and stuff. He was arrested for that. I mean, really, just the pits. Cribs. Uh, oh, like, like you know, you my crib dung baby. Like, like was arrested once, like sleeping in some random home inside a crib, okay. and then. Really, just life was just terrible for Robert Downey Jr. and um, went on to be Iron Man and the most like right, you know, like that turnaround, no? Yeah, I read that. Business, right? I mean, crazy. I love him. Oh my gosh, there's another movie, him. right? He yeah, had another I, movie, Heart and Souls. Oh, it was so cute, also there. Mm. Robert Downey, ka pala, no? I love him. I like the yeah. movie where he was with Marissa Tomei. Which one was Only that? You. Also that. Only you. Yeah, only you. Like There's a good song. A good... What's the song? Only, and only you? Is it? Uh, is it a Celine Dion song? Oh, There's a song there. You not? Oh, hey, go Sam. Uh, Alex, can you please help us? Hold, hold on. Um, it's um. There's a song here. I got it right here. Actually, it's I got it shot right in Italy too. Oh gosh. I okay, so that. while you guys figure that out, can I just say oh, once in a lifetime, to people, starting gonna... with Jobert, who oh, okay. is listening to us on the playback. He makes us his background repetitively while he drives or while he's at work, and when he's stuck in traffic and he's finished all the episodes, he'll click on old ones now. Aww. Okay, you can do that so, via Spotify, by the way. Go to Spotify and type in uh, Good Times Radio and you can find all the old stuff. There I is a Michael, what's... there's a Michael Bolton song from the movie Only You that to me is one of the most romantically written please, songs. Please. Oh my God, it's incredible. Just listen, listen okay, the lyrics on this are, are just uh, top, top, top shelf. Top shelf. What's his name? I've never heard this song. You've never heard this song? This song is so freaking amazing. It's so mushy, though. I cannot. It is so mushy. It's... The lyrics are so, like, painfully mushy. Oh, oh. Lahat ng kanta niya ni Paring Michael. Miyak yan eh. Yan, napakagago yan. Gago yan eh. Gago yan eh. Ilang beses ako pinaiyak niya. Yung regurgitated niyang feelings. Dude, let's look at this big ending. Look at this big ending. Just, just kind of subtle and perfect. Look, look at this over here. Sam, this song, man, from this movie that you like. Jeez. Does he still have long hair there? Um, or short I na? don't know. Oh, Wait, Downey Jr.? 
Sumisigaw no, sa labas nyo, no? Sumisigaw sa labas nyo mo, no? Si Michael Bolton, kaaway mo. Hmm. Ay, Alex! Lumabas ka dito! Kahit nag mo. Ano kinuha Pinura mo? ka, no? Pinura ka. Kinuha mo kay Michael Bolton. Ba't nagkakaganon sa labas yun? Umiiyak. Tapin mo. I also want to say hi to my ano, Kuya Lala Move this morning, si Kuya John Louie, who apparently listens to us all the time. Okay, here's the thing, guys. Ah, sorry, um, I have a surprise for all of you. I wanted to tell you about it on the air today, but then, you know, we have this echo issue, so I'm going to oh. save it for Monday. No, 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 um, no, 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 it's, it's a good surprise. Like, it's a, I don't, you know, I don't, we don't care. We don't you're getting anymore. married. You are engaged. Oh, no. You're getting married. Sam's getting married, everybody. Congratulations. Kain na ni Kuya. Kain na ni Kuya Lala Move. Kain na ni Kuya Lala Move. This is amazing. Nain love ka ni Kuya Lala Move. Pilagpalit mo yung boyfriend mo. Oh, so when did he propose? No, I'd really like to talk about it when we don't have this echo situation. Oh my gosh, when just getting me. Sam, no, we can't that. wait that long. Remember, we were talking about how long the season break is. We you can't wait till Sam? Monday. Imagine, if I did this, Sam, you'd kill me. Parang sinato siya. Saan di mo nalang sinabi ng mga mapatiser mo? Pero parang mo sinabihan na, guys, matin dito ko kwento ko. Pero sa Monday na, I've been waiting all day to tell you, pero... The video is coming. And no one will need to say I gotta fit myself for a barong already. Come on now, let's go. All right. Go. When I are we doing? Stretch, and I'm gonna split. That. Okay, I um I have gifts for you guys today. I mean, it's not coming from me, and I want to not be a rosary money. or no. something like that. Okay, this is from Pilot. They sent yes. each one of us. Yes, this is the Acro One Thousand. It's a refillable fountain pen, and it it has our names engraved on it. And I mean, even you, Mo, you have one here. What? Huh? Yeah, like or like all of us. Mas kinabahan ako sa akin kasi ibo. Mas kinaba na ako sa akin. Parang sinay mo dapat yan. Alex, kasama ka rin. Mas, mas deserving ko yun. Of course you too, Lex. May Is it pin? by any chance a fountain pen? Yes! Yay! Because I lost two. Can we, you know, can we do this? Can we give one to whoever employee of the week is? Which is Alex, right? Is Alex. You gotta earn it. Yeah, Alex, you gotta earn it, Kay. Because you can just all of a sudden just show up. And, oh. You can just show up at 6.49 in the morning, Kay, and then expect a uh, friggin' employee of the week. Magkano benta niya? It's the Pilot Acro 1000 with your oh, name on it, Alex. You ah, guys can sabing, get this in ano yung uh, resale value. <laughs> guys, ano the National Bookstore. Guys, uh, National Bookstore. Guys, may pangalan mo to eh. Para alam ko siya yung nagbigay. No, uh, major know, stationery so... stores. This is from Pilot. Thanks, Pilot. Pilot. Like I the brand it. itself. Oh my God. We are like moving up. Like kung ginagamit yan sa nung sa sa, sa San Sebastian ako nung high school, eh. nakapilot ako doon sa may polo ko, yung packet ng polo. Yan ang uh, payabangan. Boggy points. A man with a pen. Ano yung ballpen oh, mo? Big? Big yun. Pilot to. Pilot. Oh, I actually have a pen story. One time I was chatting up this man on the plane. When we <laughs> said goodbye. Oh, when go he ahead. said goodbye, he gave yeah. me his pen. I was just like, mm, thanks. I don't know why he gave me a pen. Was it a nice Only pen? to me. It was an expensive pen. Yeah, yeah, but I believe these yeah, yeah, things yeah, yeah. only happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was single yeah. back then. Ah, single yeah. pen. Wala kang boyfriend? Sure, nung babae sa phone. Hey, boy, <laughs> may boyfriend na noon, gay. Saan ba yun? Nasa airplane naman, wala naman yun. <laughs> Everything is on the air. <laughs> it's on up air? in the air. <laughs> may salamat na kung nakikin yung tamang app. Nag-iisip ako ng on, in, at, up, in the air pala. Kailangan ko talaga mag-aral mag-English. No, it's really the conjunctions and prepositions. It's up on the, in the, at the, pala, up pala. Regurgitate. Tututo ako sa station na to. Promise. <laughs> up, up there. So, Nag-try talaga ako sa utak ko ng on the air, in the air, at the air. Parang pangit. Oh, maybe because you were thinking of Michael Jordan. Another favorite of mine. Hoy, paano papadala kayo mo yung pilot? Saan problema pa yan? 
It's pilot. Hindi sa pilot. You'll find a way. <laughs> Alam ko na, ba't mo nilagalo ganyan? Papadala mo, papasabay mo sa akin yan, no? Pasabay. There's an idea. Good point. By the way, we got to thank the people. Is now, so is this pilot giving to the, us or yes. your yes. friend bought pilot pens? And Dude, is giving... it's pilot, the brand Dude. itself. And I, I can talk more about this on Monday because they even included one for Sen Bam. <gasps> anong trigger? Anong trigger niyan? Na, yeah. Anong trigger na ba tayo nagbinigyan? Why did they give Dino us the potato? Hindi naman tayo ng gold medal. <laughs> <laughs> She's a listener Bye. of the show. The lady who does Thank marketing you. for a pilot, her name is Mimi. Um, I mean, and she loves the show, wanted to give us all so personalized happy, Mimi. fountain pens. Mimi. Thank you. Mimi, you know I love everything aviation. So even just the fact that it is a pilot and has <laughs> an aviation um, roots to it is a huge thing for me. I <laughs> love it. I 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 Sponsor. Tuloy, tuloy na natin to, Mimi. Yeah, Mimi. We, we, yeah, we're always looking for um, a tie-up. Uh, oh. This show, podcast, whatever. Let's go. Mimi. Mm-mm. Ipalagay natin sa upuan ng mga show ko na pag naupuan nila, may mapapasigaw. <laughs> oh, there's a pilot. Congratulations. <laughs> Check your seat. Sana. Here. Mimi, serious ako doon. Message me, Mimi. We do, we can... But I think it's, it's still up on the air. Pero... Oh, wow, the pun. I love it. <laughs> Galing, no? Smart, no? Here, I got my own here. Once in a lifetime Ano ba yan? We'll start with one reason Okay, are we out of here? Huwag mo tayo malis. Nakabitin ako eh. Kasi may mga oh. echo eh. Pwede mag-stand tayo. Okay, Total, did I tell you there's one for Yael as well? Oh my yeah. god. You guys can do like a couple. Uh, can she can yeah. she make one for heaven? I can just write heaven on there if she can and just I, I need a pilot um pi- a pen and, and, and... heaven. Oh Alex. Oh pa kinawa mo ka sa bots. Sa tingin mo hindi wala sa am pinabibigay niyo mo. Tut mo. Ako pa gawa ka ng ball pen. Pagawa ka ng boyfriend, yeah. pagawa ka ng boyfriend na to the one I love. Para si Mary. You are the one. My voice. Hello. Hello. Huwag tayo magano, magbigyan natin tong ano, playback. Ano bang gusto niyo? Ang ganoon oras kami. <laughs> oh, tanyo na. Hina niyo pala eh. Bitin ako. Aga ko buo pasok alas 6 pero kapon. Lang ko muna. Yung pagka-employee of the week mo. Pwede, no, maglinis pa ako sa studio. Ano, Monday na tayo magkikita, hindi nagsay tayo Sam. Buti na lang sinabi mo yung goodness. Sumuyeldo na walang trabaho. Wala bang sweldo? Hindi nagbigay ng opinion. Nag-make. Paano? Paano yung kita-kita tayo? Ay, Sabado, Mo, podcast ha? Oh, yeah, yeah. Podcast on Saturday, Sam. Are you go- are you down for the podcast tomorrow, or are you sick? Oh. I might call in sick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a long Okay. Oh, well, Mara's gonna be there. Maybe yeah, she back. Huh? Uh, she is, but she's gonna be. She, Mara's gonna be on the podcast tomorrow, and she's gonna do it from the studio that she's taping a TV show on. <laughs> oh, cool! <laughs> wow! Wow! What country she's was her whole it? little setup. No, she's in she's in Manila. Oh, she just got back. Okay. She's like, I'm taping a show. I know. Me paraan. I'm gonna do it from the dressing room. <laughs> like, okay. That she is dedication. Said no. she's, like, she's like, I can't because I'll be on I'll be at uh, you know taping. And she goes, Nope, I am going to make a way. She'll be the new employee of the week. Um but if you guys want any of you guys want to join, okay, Alex, tomorrow, please. If Sam's gonna call out. But Sam, if you feel better, please. Also, let me know. Yes? I'll try bu- ano, ano, sino kayo? Kayo ni Mara? Sige, ito try ko. Total, wala naman akong buhay ngayon eh. Huh? Nag-o available eh. Nag-o available eh. Oh. Huh? Wala akong kundi, wala akong condition ah, condition. Ah, because... Oh. oh. Wala akong mga taping ngayon eh. Got it. Nati pag-usapan. Okay. I'll tell, oh. ma- ano, magsasaita ako more on Monday. Kaya naman akong pauso ngayon ng mga... <laughs> Pauso ngayon ay isang thousand. Kasi ba good news? But I'll tell that it's Monday. Parang sa... 
You know. All right, well, let's go. Let's go. Sam's got to rest. She's got to get back into bed and and heal. So uh, we'll wrap it up here. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. We'll see you on Monday for uh, more of the radio show. Don't forget, you can always download this if you missed it. It will be on Spotify. Just look for your uh, Good Times Radio. And when you're on Spotify, you might as well download GTWM, the podcast. You have Punchline with Alex Calleja. You have Case Drama as well. I mean, there's a lot to choose from on on, uh, Spotify that you can. Nice plugging. Your plugging is so expert. And it's the weekend. You need material, and that's how you're going to get there. Sam, get better soon, uh, Chef. And uh, we'll see you on Monday. Everybody else, thanks for hanging out with us. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Good times.